Hang on a second, someone decided to make an appearance last second. Hi, buddy. You okay, bud? I got a bagel on my desk. Alright, what existential discussion will we have today? Give it some time. We gotta get warmed up first before we get into a linebook. <coughs> Let me see if I can get him on cam. Oh, I can't do it without turning off the dam. Boy, I wish I knew how to fix this fucking issue. Oh shit, Bagel, I'm sorry. Oh no. I'm sorry, bud. You okay, buddy? Yeah, oh no. Mister, you okay? Oh, good boy, good boy. Sorry, I was trying to tilt the camera to get him on screen for you guys, and the camera slipped from its location and fell on him. He's okay. He was lying down, pretty much passed out on the desk, got startled awake, and then rotated over to the other side. Hey, it's a good thing you're such a big boy, so that doesn't really hurt you. Hi. Here he is. He's fine. But you can see how this fell on him. <laughs> Good thing the camera's light, huh, buddy? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Can Bagel be a good boy at his blood test today? Well, Bagel had his blood tested yesterday. Yesterday was Bagel's blood work. He was good for it, although he was very upset he's spaghetti. They had to take him into the back, and we could definitely hear him crying. But I think he was crying because he got left alone and no one was looking at him. Or taking care of him at the time, because they were probably getting his needles and stuff ready. His favorite thing. Alright, let's get this password typed in. Let's see if we can wrap this game today, huh? Our password was 4x CN5 3HN CCF H5R JWY LV VPN VPN right
Please no hurt kitty. I Trust me, I did not want to hurt the cat. And like I said, he's sleeping back on my desk. He seems to be fine. He was more mad his sleep was interrupted. It's the equivalent of you basically like putting your foot down and you find out the cat's at the foot of your chair. <clears throat> Mister will be fine, don't worry. Alright, who do I owe Duke's Wisdom to? I owe the Duke of Wisdom, and the Wisdom of Duke, rather, to Evil J. Brian. Here you go. Sorry if I sound a little low energy today, at least to start. <clears throat> Don't worry, that'll probably get fixed later. But, um, I had to get up early for an appointment. Very early, unfortunately, for me. So, I am a little out of sorts. I basically went out to the appointment. The appointment took longer than I intended. Came back. Slept. Went out to run errands. Came back. Hopped on podcast with He's an Evil Genius and Steve-O. And then immediately... You had like had to get food arrive and then hop on here. So I've been kind of I've been kind of running on uh, what's the term? Burning the candle on both ends, basically. A little early. So before 12 p.m., it was I got up like 7:50. Running on fumes also works. But I was thinking of burning the candle at both ends, basically. What do we have inventory-wise? We have one heal cookie. We have one invincibility cookie. We have the headless teddy because we haven't found Mortician in a while. A sack of gold. Max's munch manual, which we can give to Grandma at some point. The journal. The musical box. The magnet. The firefly. Lurch's bowling ball. The strange black cube. The stone button. And the shockwave move. We need to find Morticia to give this to her so we can get another heart. Or skull, rather. And we need to... I believe we have to go back to... Where... See, this is the rough part. Because... We should probably look for Morticia. But she's not where she's supposed to be. Which is a problem, because we've done some things out of order. Ah, uh, so the nocturnal creature got an early start. The most tragic fate of all of us nocturnal creatures. Yeah, I went. I also still went to bed at 3 a.m. I tried to go to bed earlier. I did not succeed. Okay, so I'm gonna go. What's gonna be easier? We already checked by the greenhouse for Morticia. She wasn't there, so let's just not worry about her, I guess. Did you just take a nap or at least to make up for the lost sleep time, or did you head to bed early? Um, I took a nap today. I was out for two hours, or, or I tried to be, until someone decided to sing the song of his people. And jolt me awake. So my energy levels are a little all across the board. Probably also didn't help that I have had to do like a fairly long drive to get to where I needed to be. And it was stormy because we're back to minus 20 Celsius weather right now. We got a cold snap for the next few days. Wesker yelled in your house? No. No, it would be the bagel. The bagel wanted to go out, but it was too cold for him. So he suffered the fate of being stuck inside with mom and dad, who are too fucking boring for him. He did his usual cat protest, which is to sing the song of his people. We had a heat wave today, <laughs> 7 degrees Fahrenheit, in Northeast Illinois, Jesus Christ. Not here. We had a lot of blow and snow. Visibility was fun. <clears throat> Is he allowed back outside already? 
He is, um... He has a new tracking collar, let's put it that way. And he's got a new curfew. And so far, he's been good about it. But he's also been sleeping so much better since. Although, maybe not tonight. I think tonight he's gonna be a troublemaker. Which sucks, because we both need the sleep. And Goober's gonna get snow tomorrow? Oh boy, have fun with that. Have fun with that. Yeah, why are you complaining? Why are you complaining on my desk? You know, you have a bed right behind me that's way more comfortable. Just go to comfy bed. Alright, you're probably not gonna... Oh, you're gonna restock my cookies. Hell yeah. I wish I'd realized that I would've ate that cookie. If it fits, I sits. I mean, he's got tons of room here. On the desk, there's a convenient cat-shaped area here he can sit in. The real downside is just, like... He has a way more comfortable bed. Just in the back of the room. And he's just like, no, I want to be near daddy. I'm a sook. Gotta be near daddy. The book, John? I can't give her the book. We tried that already. Or rather, we tried that last stream. Um, we've got some flags mixed up in the game. We don't think we can give her the book until we at least find Thing. Just to show. Dad makes a good heat lamp, bagel. I mean, he's not even lying on my lap, though. She's just giving out infinite cookies. I'm just going to get my health back up then. She's just giving out infinite cookies. Hell yeah. Rad. That's going to suck when that stops, though. The true marks of a cat owner. Buying them a very comfy bed, all for them to sleep anywhere but there. He did sleep on it earlier, so he's actually using that bed more than we expected. It's just that Bagel is, an, is a cat of discerning tastes. And he will find the most inconvenient way to get comfortable on my desk, as he will he's already half shoved the keyboard off my desk. Right, Stone Gardens has a lot of branching paths. Okay. Awesome, buy them a cat bed. They use the box that came in. That has not happened, shockingly. He's, he's not like that. But he does like playing with the bags half his stuff comes in. Because, you know, cat. Let's look around here first, see what else is around. Statue with a button, probably a good idea to press. Oh wow, it made a yodel happen. That's an impressive button. Zan says, Howdy, John. It's that time of year again. My birthday's today, and I'm cashing in for some luck since I've already used a fair bit with uh, Rising Zan winning fortune cookie recently. That just leaves power trip for the samurai gunman to hopefully uh, achieve. All the best. 
Happy birthday, Zan. Hope it was a good one. And since it's also Super Icy's birthday, they say, don't have a ton, but following tradition and giving for birthday luck, since the, it's the 26th, is my birthday. Happy birthday to you both, Super Icy and Zan Rising. Hope twas good. Okay, so the bowling ball does more than a blue electric shock, then, in that case, because it's only taking two hits. As long as the ball hits. Okay, so we've got a switch that we hit that we don't know what it does. Cave, which I assume will lead higher, because we know there's at least one more room straight up. I know the two cats I previously had, Sassy and Callie, would have gone into the box and ignored the cat bed entirely. Oh yeah, no. Cow cats be cats. Cool. Oh, never mind, there's more to the room. I thought that was it. Hey, there's Thing! Ha! Thing! Hmm. I need a rope or something similar to get him out of that pit. I have none of that. All right, well, that's a problem. <coughs> Empress, holy shit. This is my second stream I managed to catch. I'm, uh, I'm glad you, recent Bagel, are doing well. Sorry to hear about TRG, but I want to share some great news. I started Hormones today and got engaged to my boyfriend this week. Sending you my luck in this game. Hell yeah, Empress, congratulations. Fuck yeah. Congrats on both things. Those are both big fucking things. Here's hoping for the best for you and your boyfriend. Well, I guess now fiance now, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, I had f I literally had food right before stream, so I'm going to clear my throat a bunch. I apologize. Did I I don't remember opening that door. Oh, it was probably the switch that opened that one. Okay. So no rope yet, so I guess I'm just gonna wander around till I find it. I hope it's not a case of one of the family members just happen to have a rope. It's probably gonna be a noose knowing the Adams family. Uh that looks like something. I don't know what, but it looks like something. Thing. Hold this metal bar. I got a magnet. I don't think I even have a metal bar, sadly, to pull that off, but that would be funny. <clears throat> not, a, not a pass. We got up and we got to the right, and to the right seems to have a hidden switch we can stand on, or it might be a teleporter. Where are we in the grand scheme of things? All right, what's this? It's clearly something, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything right now. Maybe I need thing. I wonder if John and Tim could collab on something? I'm sure we can figure something out. <laughs> I'm sure you won't need to worry in that regards. Doors open now. Army of two? Oh no. These people still remember that series.
So what are Thing and It exactly? Well, Thing is a hand. <laughs> and Cousin It is, is just Cousin It. I don't think there's really an explanation for anything other than that. He's just their Cousin It. I don't know why he controls the passwords in this game, but I mean, more power to him. Everyone needs a job. Okay, let's try this path first, I guess. Uh, gargoyle. Talk? <clears throat> Good day to you, sir. May I introduce myself? Grim the Undeniably Incorruptible. I'm here to guard this switch, and guard is what I do with guts, vigor, honesty, and no thought for bribes, payoff, or corruption. What if I give you this weighty sack of gold and you look- Ow! Ow! Fuck. One sec. Ah. That was fun. Bagel suddenly got up off the desk and jumped down, but in the process of jumping down, uh, struck my headphones, because I'm using earbuds right now, and tried to pull them out of my ears, but it didn't quite succeed. So I basically got like a big tug on them and like a big air pocket shot my ear. So that was fun. So my ears ringing a little bit. Your donation is generally ex generously accepted. Now, not a word to anyone about this. Okay, bye. Thanks for letting me hit the switch. But I still don't know what it does. Damn, John, you survived an assassination attempt? No, big. Oh, damn it. If Bagel tried to actually kill me, he would be. He would do a different plan than that. How is Bagel, by the way? He's he's annoyed. Because it's too cold right now, and he's still cranky about being on house arrest. He does not enjoy his limitations now. Romit's Lair. Gonna assume I need to hit all the switches to do that. Okay, where were the other doorways I saw? I think they were down, right? Oh, there's there's one. Ooh, a new book. I now have a big book of biscuits. Well, I guess that goes to Nan. If Bagel was that type of cat, type of eventually it'd be like a murder in your sleep type of revenge, right? Oh yeah, no. Bagel, Bagel would sleep on my head. In my mouth and just suffocate me with his own his own bagelness. It's what he would do and what he would want. Oh, this okay. Uh, all right, not what I expected. Well, let's see if I can figure this out. I assume this is gonna be a case of one sticks in, I just gotta figure out the correct order. No. Uh oh. Uh uh <laughs> Maybe I should go check that portal first. Have you ever found Bagel reading your life insurance policy? No, and if I ever did, I'd be very concerned. All right, whatever, this is still not activated.
Bagel can read? He'd find a way. Someone said... Oh, wait, hang on. No, there's a tell. I'm still clearly not paying enough attention. Okay. Now, were there four statues or just three? There are four. Okay. Alright, so ninja, golem, chubby, ninja. Oh, but which ninja, though? Or does it even matter? Try in reverse order. No idea if either did it, so maybe that's not the solution. Unless it's just a case they want me to only press the two that have buttons. Which in that case it would be just Golem and Chubby. Tried three separate things. Don't know if any of those would do anything. That's still locked. Press them counterclockwise. Really? Why counterclockwise? Peggy, does it say what? Like, what is supposed to be the hint for that? Like... I just did clockwise. Nicely done, John. Alright, well, I'll try counterclockwise for real this time. Interesting. The stone twig key. I guess that's the one that we were supposed to use in the mountain. Is thinking that's something to do with the statues outside? It has to be height. Let me just go back and look at the order of them, I guess, here in a second. Not because two of them are the same height. That wouldn't make any fucking sense. Ah, and that's what the other one was for. There we go. John, I just want to say thank you because of the last stream. I bought Pocket Card Jockey and I have been playing it nonstop. I knew that game would be so much fun. I fucking told you. I fucking told you. I love me some Pocket Card Jockey and I knew everyone else would too. Yeah, clockwise doesn't make any sense from here. Because, oops, because we're assuming this was the starter one, right? So it would be, yeah. No, I don't get it. I don't get what the hint is, if there is one there. But John, did you see about the cross S+. Plus? I heard about it. It's like S1 through 9. And we didn't get S9 over here. Or sorry, E, E9. Because that was a, the 3DS one. When is that coming out? Does that have a date yet? I missed last fortune cookie stream. How good is Pocket Card? I love it. It like I mean I I liked it to begin with, so I'm biased. Comes out this week. Jesus Christ! There's too much shit. Don't compete with Final Fantasy, please. I have other video games I need to play. <laughs> I finally started playing Mario vs. Donkey Kong, and I forgot how fun that was. I'm 
oops, I'm caught up on all my Fortnite nonsense, so I can actually take a break on shit, and it's just like, no, release video games. Play all the video games. Dance, monkey, that's a tree. Ha, 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 another unwanted guest. Fool! Whatever you seek, you will find only your doom here. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, why do I bother? I hate this job, and I get the worst dialogue. Just hold still while I get this over with. I promise it won't hurt too much. So don't hold still. Got it. Ooh, you move fast for a tree. Buddy, you move very fast for a tree. Um... I better... Let's get the bowling ball ready for an attack, because it'll do extra damage, unless I whiff. Should also probably get off the portal. <laughs> Good hit. What is this fucking sine wave he's on? Okay, we need to... Wow, he left me alone long enough to eat the cookie. Holy shit. Alright, motherfucker, I got blue electricity. You're in trouble now. away. Damn it. Dude takes a lot of hits. This is a lot of hits. I hope I'm not supposed to do something special in this fight. Just get a little bit of mileage out of the red, at least. So we can save, save that last cookie we have. Let's have to shove him off the stage. Because he's taking a lot of fucking hits. I hate that I can't turn that off in time. I have to go through the entire healing animation. Like, you're flashing like you're taking damage, so I'm, it's safe to assume you're taking damage, right? Stuck up here? No, you, you slide even then. But if I could get you tucked in here, maybe. Or can I hide in here? I 
At this point, with all the hits, it's gotta be shove him off the cliff. But like my knock my knockback's not the strongest, so I don't think that's quite right. Okay, what do I have that could deal with them? Shockwave. Crumble cookies probably won't do anything, but might as well try it. It's got to be shove him off, because he's taken so many hits at this point. Ah, oh, shit, my range. Dude, I don't know, man. Like, he eventually just starts rotating. This pattern's so fucking janky. Oh, thank God. Last possible hit I had, too. I have a large vine. I'm I'm gonna ignore most of the puns the chat put in put in there because that's a lot of puns in chat. That's a lot. All right. I don't know which of these rooms we've been in. I assume the very top one was the boss fight. I assume we're done with Stone Gardens other than saving it. Or sorry, Thing. Now you make like, God, why? <laughs> why? Yeah, done for now, sweet. All right, let's go get, let's go get Thing. to be like this. Okay, that's where thing is. I'm on the wrong floor. Ugh. Ugh, I'm not even... I'm just gonna stop reading chat at this point. <laughs> It just hurts. If you're watching the YouTube VOD, you can see all the shit they're saying. Uh, not a shortage. Damn it. There's so many mini golems. I grew up with Pokemon tree puns are ingrained. Uh, I guess that's true. Unfortunate. All right, let's get Thing out of here. Hang on, Thing, I'm coming. Just grab this vine and clamber out. Not pictured, clambering. Oh, never mind, it is pictured. Thing scuttles up the vine to safety.
Tap, tapity tap, tapity tap, tap tap. Don't mention a thing. Anytime you need a hand, I'm your man. Now go and find Lurch. He's looking for you. Just tapping his fingers, having a little tap. Such a poet thing is. Dang it. I want to get my new cookies from Granny. Are you my brother, Rex Racer? <laughs> they fought a tree boss. It you was a given brother. that they planted a few, uh, even under that few ideas in Egg. us. There we go. Now they're hanging out together. Tap, tap, tapity tap. Indeed, thing. It would be a wise move if you and Lurch continued your search together. Lurch, you got anything to say to that? Nope. Wow. This is pretty much what we say goes through nearly every stream. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> this is just what I wanted. Hi, Granny. I got books. Um. More recipes! No one has ever stolen so much just for little old me. It will take me some time to prepare this one. Come and meet me at the swamps. Ma'am, that does not even remotely narrow down where you're going. How many the swamps exist in this world? John, you're officially Massey. I don't think I'd complain about that. <laughs> long pause on that one to think about that. I'm like, uh, hmm. Damn, so you're now a furry took you long enough? Fuck off, <laughs> Fuck off, Gwen. <laughs> I almost said green out of habit. Actually, I did say green out of habit based on the fact that green's like, hey! Is the voice changer not working? Oh, the voice changer works. I just haven't had a need to use it for a while. For some weird reason. I can go turn it on if you want. <laughs> Green, no! What? Sorry, force of habit. Gwen, no! How does that voice work with the change? We've done it before. It doesn't... Uh... I'm trying to remember how it was exactly. I think it sounded more high pitch. Because here's the thing. When I do the Rosa voice with the voice changer, I'm actually talking more so around here, down here somewhere with that, which is what kind of mellows it out a little bit. <laughs> and when I'm up here doing this voice, it's a little different. So, I can load it up if you want. Um, oh, there, oh we there we go. Give me a Give sec. Me a sec. Check it, check. check. There we go. There we go. Shut up, John. Shut up, John. Much better. Okay, so this is about with the low voice. This is a little low, mellow, nothing too bad. You know, nice and comfortable. Um, one sec. And this is the pitch! Ooh, Jesus! And this is the pitch I normally do it at! Oh, that's so... No, I hate that. Oh, I hate that so much! Fuck! Oh, shit. Yeah, way too high. Way too high. It's not even that high. It's not even that high I'm trying to do. It's wild. Aw, oh, you're so sweet, though. Thank you so much for liking all this. What? Okay, that actually sounded more natural. Weird. Yeah. Okay. 
When I killed you. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. I'm try. I'm try. When I killed your brother, it sounded just like this. It's way easier to do with a voice changer. Holy shit. Remember me, Eddie? Okay, where'd you go? You're sleeping, good boy. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Oh, that was. Oh, how did I do it? Thank you for coming. And thank you for. <laughs> I have to stop listening to it. It's throwing me off because I keep hearing it with a two second delay. Thank you for coming. I think that was how it sounded normally, like hers? That's it, Dan. That sounds right, Dan. That was pretty close. There we go. So I think we, we, got, we got close enough on that. All right, you've all had your fun now. I'm gonna go get John back to the stream, okay? How did this sound? Eh, it's alright. It's not bad. A little high pitched. Okay. Let me get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Bye, Masai! Dr. Zeos, thank you for the raid. <laughs> I'm glad people are saying goodbye to Masai with their own emotes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with Thing group back up with Lurch, maybe now Morticia's where she's supposed to be, and we can drop off some stuff for more skulls. I feel Masay is going to have words for you. She always does. This this is not different. It's not even remotely different. Now, the real question is, is Granny back in this area now? Ooh, that was a miss. Oh, this doesn't lead back the way I thought it would. Shit. But it's got mud monsters, which means I can usually get a skull or two out of these guys. Usually. Now we got lucky she's back in the loop here again? Near the entrance of the fourth dungeon. Oh my god. I fuck if I remember that. The entrance of dungeon four. Isn't that like on... Isn't that like the, the top leftmost square? Something like that? John, have you ever used the Wii Shop Channel Music on Shopping Websites browser plugin? No, but that does sound like an amazing plugin. You should pull out the voice changer the next time you two play Fortnite? Why? <laughs> She's heard it before. It'd be funny, but she's heard it before. She was literally on stream when I used it against her, and she got mad when she I did the thank you for coming because it sounded like her. She got very upset about it. We just want to see if Masay will actually kill you. Wow, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for giving my friends excuses to try to murder me. As if they needed them. Delete the VOD, she can never know. Nah, some of y'all are narcs. Probably got clips made of it and sent it to her. Can we say it was Green's idea? I mean, you can. I know it's not, but you can. Mojanator says, too late, I already sent a clip. Yeah, I fucking know. Y'all ain't subtle. <laughs> no one in this fucking stream is subtle. Yeah. 
You mean you can be friends with someone without wanting to kill each other? Yeah, sometimes it happens. It's rare. All my friendships tend to have at least a modicum of violence involved. I just figured that was violent people attract violent people. You know, stand users attract stand users, etc., etc. Ah, should I just go get the free heal? What do I have to fight off to get back to the graveyard? Isn't there something here that blocks me and makes me take some damage? It's not the eyeball shooters, is it? Skelly boys, okay. Oh, it's a singular skelly boy. Subtlety died with Chad a long, long time ago. Oof. Oof a doof. Hello, spider. Now, can I get out of here without getting hit? That's the real question. I love that John always knows whenever his chat tattles on him. Ironic given that he's supposed to be the mom. Moms can know when they're tattled on too. <laughs> Mom also knows who you all picked it up from, too. <laughs> Bunch of fucking narc kids. Subtlety is the same as nuance, and nuance on the internet is long dead. Oh, I hate that statement, but you're not wrong. Let's see if she's over here, because another skull would be fantastic. Well, here's thing. Tap, 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 tap. Yes, thing. Tap, 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 tap. You found something? Tap, 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 tap. A key. Tap, 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 tap. I'm sure it'll be handy. Thanks. I now have a wait. I already have that. Oh, it's a different jeweled key. Oh, it's the jeweled key. Oh. The one that, that sign said was missing. Why would that just be in the... What the fuck? This fucking game, dude. Why would that just be right there? Meanwhile, I still have no fucking clue where Morticia is. I think at this point all the flags are messed up, so I don't think I'm gonna find Morticia. <laughs> okay, when your pitch became way high and you were thrown off, my laughter was so high that not only did I woke up my aunt, but I also woke up my neighbor, and my aunt's room was far away from mine, like close to the kitchen far away. Oh, Jesus. My bad, sorry. <laughs> the Trans Mansion Express is stop number two. I don't know if that helps. Okay, I think it does. Let's at least try to get that next cookie. But then I gotta figure out what do we do next. So we've got the key we need to open that. The bush is where we found the, uh, the bird. But I gotta remember how to get back there. That's gonna be a problem. Hey, there you are. Bad luck, Fester. I hope you're wearing dirty underwear. Thanks, Morticia. I'll bring Puber back in as many pieces as possible. You can count on me. My dude, what about all the items we're carrying? There is no talk prompt anymore. Gomez! Gomez, I searched the grounds, but there was no sign of Puber or Debbie, for that matter. The mansion seems well hidden. I've sent Thing and Lurched off to go search for the entrance. 
I hope Hubert isn't harmed too much. The poor young thing isn't old enough to appreciate it. I hope Thing and Lurch are alright too. Well, Thing is literally above the two of you, so, uh... Staunch work, Fester. Keep it up. Tisha, I really do have things to hand you for hopefully health. She has no talk prompts. Nope. I think I missed the chance to turn this in. I think the game is glitched. That does not surprise me from a John stream. We might be out of luck for the health upgrades. Uh, yeah, I was afraid of that. Well, now they've both left. <laughs> and so did Thing. No one's here anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, well, I guess we ain't getting that health extension. That's fine. I just, that caught me off guard. I was prepared for mostly everything tonight. This community has its tricks of its sleep, but that, nah. <laughs> nice. All right, well, that doesn't bode well for the final fight, because that means I'm not going to... I've already missed out on at least one health container. Now it sounds like it's two. Peggy said you have to go to the bushes. That's what Peggy said, but I'm going to go find Grandma first. Which I believe, based on what they said, was um, the second warp of the trans pipeline. Just didn't see you there. The Trans Pipeline is real. It's not even called the Trans Pipeline. It's like the Trans Mansion Express, but I just keep calling it a pipeline because I'm literally jumping in a giant rounded tree. Since you're playing this game, did you ever see the movie? If so, what's your opinion? I saw it when I was very young, but I remember liking it. And I caught some pieces. I caught specifically the end of the whole camp scene on TV a couple years ago. I forgot how funny that whole scene is and very dark. Very, very dark. Alright, so you set the second one, which would mean not this one, but this one. The transgender pipeline. One end, you're just idly browsing the internet. The other end, you come out a gremlin, apparently, in this chat. There's so many... Gremlins that are trans people in this community. <laughs> Where did this put me on the map? I should have checked that first before I started committing to running around here. I'm a certified Grim. Look, I was normal once. I'm a trans mouse. It's me. I'm the gremlin. I'm not a gremlin. I'm a kobold. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Someone said trans gremlin. I believe I am one of those there gremlins. I'm a trans cat. My God. I just like playing devil's advocate. <laughs> I'm not a gremlin. I'm a potato. Peggy, did I screw up? Mm. <laughs> I'm the number nine. <laughs> nope, here's dungeon four. Find Granny, she's currently residing in the area of the swamp where you found the entrance to the fourth dungeon. 
Just board the train, you'll find her, or the, the pipeline, you'll find her soon enough. Okay. There she is. Another recipe book. Thank you, Fester. I should be able to cook some horrible cookies with this. Hello again, Fester. I've cooked something particularly nauseous for you. They're called Dragon Belch Cookies. The name describes them perfectly. Fancy a nibble? Here you go, dear. Full selection of useful nibbles. Ooh, what does that do? I don't want to eat it without... With her in that kind of mood, so... I assume it gives us some sort of projectile. Or it ups our attack. Let's see if she's still there. We already have a screen nuke. That's what the green cookies are. Now she's still there, at least. Because the game showed you Trailish co flavored cookies, I ordered that cake tonight. This is my Catboy Pipeline effect. Nice. We'll enjoy it, Dion. I'm sure it will be delish. The red cookies let you breathe fire. Okay, well, that's uh, fair enough then. I assume that just does more damage than electricity does. Does it have the same restrictions of range, though? Okay, so here's the real question. How the fuck... Do I get back to where that bird was? Because it's been a week. And I don't know if I remember. It wasn't in the snow area. It was in wherever Dungeon 6 was. Which wasn't in the stone area. Rockies. I just gotta remember how the frick to get back to the Rockies area. Uh, it's probably easier if I actually do walk left from here. I bet the furry pipeline and the trans pipeline run parallel to each other in this chat. Uh, I've met many a trans furry, so I will assume that is correct. And there's one adding themselves right now. All right, genuine question for those who know this game at this point. How much of the game would you say we have left? Because we have all the keys, we have all the cookies. We still have a lot of, oops, wrong button. So a lot of slots we definitely have not filled up. Well, I just feel like I'm running out of options of what to do. The estrogen comes with a free fursona. I don't... Uh, green, I don't think that's how that works. Outing themselves. John has been tr out as trans for three and a half years and have had a fursona for a year and a half. People... Or half a year. People know. Not everyone fucking knows, Green. I'm sorry. My bad. That is how it works, trust me. I... 
I'm going to press X to doubt a lot, I feel. If I did not forget anything, Dungeon 7, then the mansion. Okay, so we could definitely finish it today, is what you're saying. Unless we get stonewalled somewhere. Which is entirely possible, because I do remember, specifically, this game having a Nintendo Power at Counselor's Corner entry for how to defeat the final boss. Damn it. I didn't even see what got me there. Did you actually know what issue I was talking about? You think you have that issue? No way. That'd be funny if you did. Telling the truth and revealing one's egg has finally cracked is always so uplifting, especially when you tell it to such a supportive and kind community like this one here. No, this community definitely, like, if you have your moment where you kind of crack and realize that you're not just cis het, like, this community will support the hell out of you. I've been proud of you guys for that, honestly. You do this cranky man so proud. Ah, son of a bitch. So proud I busted this accent out out of nowhere. Hey, can you drop? Thank you. Rockies are access through Dungeon 6? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, I thought we went straight up. Oh, I didn't do the right straight up. Shit. Turn around. All my family, friends, and co-workers and fiancé know I'm a trans persona. They all call me Mousy. Oh, that's cute. Thank you, Father. Now make your mods proud by giving the food toss out of which to sleep. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, whatever. Actually, wait, the health is back. I'll just go get the health again. Is the health back? Actually, I'm gonna wonder. If no, it's back. Okay. In that case, let's just lure these guys out, take some damage. God, I hate hitting these guys, though. What a pain in the ass. That's the only way I'm going to do it without getting hit. But I'm also missing them in the process. One. Hey, I'm just going to leave me <coughs> the fuck alone. I'll just do that. This community actually helped me be confident enough to be to really take a look at myself and consider if I was trans. Figured out I'm still just a dude, but I think it's healthy to at least really think about it if you're unsure. No, that's a good way of looking at it. What's the what's the joke I keep hearing people say? Like, if you look at yourself and you realize you are still who you are, you don't change anything about yourself. You unlock Sis Plus, I think was the joke. New game plus on Sis. Yeah. So yeah, life's a fucking journey. Who knows where you'll end up? <laughs> we gained the sword of self-respect. Exactly. Scott earned the power of self-respect. Only this chat will come up with Sis Plus. No, I think that's that's a thing on the internet. I don't I don't know if chat solely can take credit for that one. 
Y'all a clever bunch, but I think the internet might have be you beat on that one. Watch us. Jesus. Just an FYI, when you get in dungeon number seven, you cannot come back to the overworld. Oh. Interesting. I heard Sis Plus in the Atom on Tumblr years ago. Yeah, that's what I figured. Wait, there's uh, websites on the internet other than twitch.tv slash protonjohn? I hate to tell you this. Yeah. I changed your home settings on your browser and then disabled the address bar, and it just only goes to here. So, yeah, I've been lying to you the whole time. I'm sorry. I'm such a convincing liar, too. <laughs> it, took, it took so little effort. Wait, this is the internet? I thought you had a weird TV show. Uh... God, I would never be trusted with a TV show. Nor do I think I should be trusted with a TV show. Alright, well here's the desert. Oh my god, I'm so fucking lost. <laughs> well, you trust yourself with a radio show. That's different. I don't have to show up on camera if I don't want to. Severe difference. Son of a bitch. I want to see you do that cooking show you talked about. I mean, Reese wants to do cooking shows. I don't want to steal her bit, even though mine's going to be just like a more chaotic version of it. All right, I have to somehow end up on that... No, that's the desert still. I'm not even in the Rockies. Fuck, how do I get back to the Rockies? About time someone with chaos treated the internet to a broadcast. Twitchers rejoice. My god. Well, that's... Shit. How do I get back to the Rockies? I genuinely do not remember how I got there. And that is not a good sign. Wait, what if I question my gender and I get a null error? That's just that's just non-binary. <laughs> No fast travel? God, you think this head game has fast travel? The closest thing it's got is a, is a warp place that goes through four different spots, and I don't remember which one is even close to what I need. How would you feel if you were given the opportunity to co-host The Late Show with Stephen Colbert for one night? Oh, I'd be fucking ecstatic. I've always wanted to meet Stephen Colbert. He's, like, been one of my, like, my comedy, like, favorites for a long time. That's where I got a lot of my sense of humor from. Entrance to, entrance to six is where you had to press the four switches while dodging the rolling balls to unlock the entrance. I think it's in the snow area. That is the snow area. 
How the fuck did we get to the snow area? Um, I wish I could look at the other pages. We got the snow area from... I think it was the other desert area, but how did I get to the other desert area? Let me see what's actually here to the left. I'm amazed I missed both of them. Stephen Colbert would be ecstatic to learn about the Johniverse. Oh no, he'd never let me fucking live it down. Ah shit. And double shit. True, but neither do we. Also fair. I know nothing about Colbert, but I feel he would ask, so which John are you today? <laughs> What if you went on Stephen Colbert dresses Rose? No. <laughs> Why? You'd be lucky to get me to do that again for charity. Why would I do it for just to go on TV? For the content? Uh-huh. I missed the conversation, but gender's so weird. I know that I am not the assigned gender I have, but I, and now I'm questioning if I am the one or if I have none at all. This community is very supportive, so I feel encouraged through all my questioning. Yo, there are so many people here that will help you through shit. Do not fucking worry if you don't know who you are. You kind of got time for it, if I'm being real. <laughs> no one's really in the situation where you're like, I gotta figure this out right fucking now. Probably feels like it in the moment, I'd imagine. Because you kind of get obsessed about it, and you're just like, oh, I need to figure this out. I can't think of anything else right now other than this, but... No, you you really do have all the time in the world to figure that out. You ain't got to worry about shit. What in the world? What if you went on Colbert for three different segments? One is yourself, one is Rose, and one is Goose? Why? Hey, John, here's your chance to meet your fa one of your favorite comedians of all time. But you gotta dress as a girl! <sighs> Damn fucking monkey paw wishes. Wait, Goose John or Goose John? Knowing them, they mean literal goose. Or knowing chat in general, they mean literal goose. This is an after the $2.9 million thing? Jesus Christ. Have it being on Rift Tracks with Mike, Bill, and Kevin? Oh, that would be so fun to do. That would be so fun. Can we raise it to 6.9 million due to inflation? Yo, if you want to just give me more money, I won't say no. <laughs> I'd, like, I'd be an idiot to say no to that. But I fear what you guys would ask for if it was bumped up to 6.9 after 
from 2.9. Because 2.9 was already asking for a lot. Uh, where the fuck is the path we need? This shit, where did this lead to again? We've already done this one. This is what led to the stone area where we found thing and everyone. That didn't have a path out. That was just the stone area. Stone gardens. I can't wait for John to become a millionaire because of boobs. Do you know how fucking funny that would be? There is a sense of comedy to it all. He was a little twisted. Damn it. Oh no, shit, no, this was... Dungeon 4, shit, because this is where Granny currently is. Damn it. I genuinely do not remember how to get to the Rockies. How did we get to Dungeon 6? Wetlands is the only place I can think to go to at this point. I feel like I've been everywhere else. Would you be able to write the boob job off the taxes? Yes! I think anything cosmetic, because I'm a presenter, I can get away with that. It's more the aspects of, like, how do I explain to my parents, like, hey, mom, dad, I have boobs now. Sorry. But here's your house payment covered. <laughs> I think that would soften the blow a little bit. I had to leave the room for a second. You know what my mom was watching? Colbert. Nice. Perfect timing. Perfect coincidence, as always. Wait, transitioning is tax deductible? I... I didn't say transitioning. I said the boob job would be because of the... Uh, what did the... Technically, it would be a performative change. I guess by that same logic, I guess transitioning would be tax deductible. This is a thought process I've never had to think about, so this is a little weird. Mom, Dad, I got millions in a sweet rack. There, there you go. <laughs> I think they'd understand at that point. If slash when you ever get those boot, why guys? Why? <laughs> I know you said if slash when. Why are you so confident I'm gonna get boobs? John, every day you're on here, you have to think about something you've never thought about. That is incredibly accurate. Yes, that is so fucking accurate. Once won the joke too, confident would admit if. Yeah, fair. Commit to the bit, commit to the bit. The tits for the bit. The funds will come. You know what? I mainly agreed to it because it was one of those like, this is never going to fucking happen, guys. You don't need to worry about it. But I, I am worried one of these days one of y'all is going to fucking surprise me. One of y'all is going to fucking defy all the odds and win the fucking Powerball or some shit.
This was where we, the way we first exited the Iceland. Return to the way you exited the dungeon after feeding Gel Eye. Use the key to raise the gate and walk through. In the new area, ignore the keyhole. But do you make your way around a mountain with it? Go to the bottom. And use a blah, 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 blah. That's. I th think that's through wetlands, right? I'll get my credit score high enough to obtain a life-destroying loan, but it'll be before the, before the bit. No, don't fucking destroy yourself for financially for my stupid-ass bits. Why are you guys peer pressuring John to get boobs? No one is peer pressuring to get boobs. They just are as committed to bits as I am. I unfortunately have instilled stupidity in all of them. As the saying goes, I learned it by watching you. Yeah, if I can get back to where Gomez was when we got out of the dungeon, I think that leads to the area? It isn't just that you had this, have instilled this in us, it's your like-minded friend group too? Oh, god damn it. I hate the worst part about all this is my entire friend group is not gonna be remotely shocked if I had boobs suddenly. They just be like, okay, cool. So anyways, John, we need to figure out what's going on next. Are we calling you John anymore? I can't tell. They would probably pull that fucking card on me too. I think Steven would be concerned but still accept it. No, Steven would be like, John. John. Are we still calling you John? Okay, John. <laughs> why? I get it, but why? I can hear his voice saying that. <laughs> That's fair. No. That was very Steven. Thank you. I can mimic my friends decently well. Can we call your boobs jubes from now on? God, no. Oh, shit. It sounded exactly like him. I can I can man I can mimic mannerisms pretty well. We accessed the Jelly Dungeon through the wetlands, but I don't remember if we exited the dungeon in the wetlands. We did. That part I do remember. Walk back and hit that fucking switch. Honest question, but what's the largest amount you can even donate through some of the tip jars? Is there a cutoff? I think the only cutoff is like literally what PayPal limits you to. I think genuinely PayPal has some like weird upper limit. But I don't know what it is. My gut check is telling me it's something wild like $10,000. I think you can definitely do more. This door, I forget what key it was, but this is definitely the way we've, we've been. I think this is the way that's gonna get us to where we need to be. John, do you know how much identity fraud you can do? You have all the power, no! <laughs> oh, it was a spider key, I'm pretty sure. There we go. If a digital donation won't go, you know someone will mail you a check. An honest-to-God check. Uh, 290 donations of $10,000. There you go. Alright, well, here's here's the spot. We finally found it. So it's gotta be the jeweled key. Now... How did I get down to it?
There we go. So this is Dungeon 7. This is the area... Dungeon 7. I'd show up in person with a big briefcase of money. Pluto, that's like the most dangerous fucking thing. Oh my god. Chad, I worry about you guys sometimes. $60,000 $60, is the limit for a PayPal donation? Interesting. Okay, well, good to know. <sighs> Alright, you know what? This is probably the perfect time to take a break. Because if we, all we have left is Dungeon 7 in the mansion, then, like, we could theoretically beat this next break. <laughs> I'd show up with a briefcase with a sub sandwich and a check hidden in the sandwich for you? Oh, my God. Aw, uh, <laughs> Fuck off, Matsaru. Oh, right. Cause there we go. Got it. Fucking, fucking Montaro just comes into the mod room. And just posts this. Ah, uh, good. That's exactly the screen I wanted you to copy, and not the one I've been trying to show the entire fucking time. Thank you. Yeah, he just shows up with this. I'll make an offer. In cash! Thank you for worrying about me, but please reconsider. Jesus. Some of y'all. Some of y'all. Oh, my God. I mean, would you refuse Cosmic Carry? I mean, if he walked up with, like, a briefcase full of money, I'd be like, why? But thank you, but why? Hey, John, longtime viewer of your VODs on YouTube. Let me say I've never laughed so hard at such entertainment. Oh, thank you, Emerald. I appreciate that. Dude, your life is so interesting, but you crested this on accident. Could be bigger and purpose, leaning into your girl voice. Oh my god, I love it here. I really did fucking do this to myself, didn't I? Son of a bitch. Guess that's what I get for working on this voice, huh? At least I can do voice acting now, right? Probably not. Alright. Well, let's uh, drop some eggs. Yeah, sure, just gotta find a gig. Yeah, yeah. Unironically, I think you would make a good voice actor. I would love to be a voice actor. That would be a lot of fucking fun. But I always hear all these fucking horror stories about, like, the shit that people have to go through now with uh, voice acting. With the AI, like, mimicking their voices and shit. And it's just like, oh, I'm so fucking exhausted, man. Why can't one of the cool fields I care about stop being shat on by other things? I'm surprised how Tom isn't given a, v a VA career. The thing is, it can't. you can't just go off of voice as well. Like, like, this voice is all fun to do and use and stuff like that, and, like, I feel like I can have fun with this and probably do a role. The problem is I need to learn how to act while doing this, or act while using my normal voice. You know how my inflection is, especially when you hear me reading a script. It kind of wavers around a lot, and it doesn't really stay quite in place, and it doesn't feel super natural and dialogue-wise. You can definitely tell I'm doing kind of a narration or trying to lead into something. 
So that's the problem is that you can't do that if you're like doing voice acting it ha unless you're like trying to try to ham it up while you're trying to read out all the greatest news and hits today 101.7 like that kind of thing you it it requires some tact it would require some acting lessons i'd have to learn how to act basically yeah there you go always has says it perfect it's a quote from gary chalk uh, yeah, you can do the Donald Duck voice, but can you make him read Shakespeare? Gary Chalk, voice of Optimus Primal. The best advice I've heard for voice acting is, if you think you can do a voice, do it for four hours straight. That's the benchmark. I don't think you guys would enjoy me doing this for four hours straight, though, but I would fucking try it, at least see if it stuck. Just because I'm that psychotic at this point. I mean, you're pretty good at improv, yes, ending, so I think you have a pretty good base already to learn more acting. True. I don't know. <clears throat> as long as your throat doesn't hurt. Like I've said, doing this voice doesn't fucking hurt my throat. It's when I go, it's when I go lower down here is when it starts to have a clear my throat. This doesn't hurt at all. Um, we've talked about this before because high range was something that Gex brought up when we were doing this. Like... It's using a different part of the throat, so it's not quite feeling the same thing. It's not doing the same kind of stress, so. So ironically, this might actually not be that hard to do. So it's easier to do the femme voice than the mask voice. Interesting. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck you, Gwen. Bonkwork Pretzels gives us a sub. This is Kujo1229, Empress Nazumi, and Daniel198. Welcome with the new subs. Hope you enjoy your time here. RRB13 for 28. The Boom1 for 40. Evil J. Brian for 64. Real the Mountain Hermit for 76. Phazon Farmer for 34. Zugs Wayne for 21. Dark the Dark Charmer for 94. Eli Gamer X for 23. Derek DTH for 99. Blue Nexel for 104. Hero Chaos Chow for the big old Hundo. Case in Point for 26. DB Koopa for 74. Azriela's D0115 for 60. Mighty Ina Maniac for 37. Shino Do Good for 86. Miles Luigi for 83. Chaos King 1236 for 118. Jan Sigma for 30. The G Girl 2020 for 39. Natalium 95 for 92. Cutesy Cat 7 for 54. Tails Faraga for 92. Uh, Drag Fenne. I think I butchered that one. Drag Fen for 14. Emperor Tylord for 26 and Lunatic Fringe 175 for 37. Alongside Delta Tubs for 16. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of. Do you have anything in the Dropbox? As someone who wanted to get into voice acting, voice acting requires a lot. There's more to voice acting than just doing voices, like being able to cold read, which unfortunately is super common in auditions and voice recording. Plus, you have to learn matching lip flaps. Yeah, cold reading was probably another tricky issue. I gotta get used. I would have to get used to something like that. What's cold reading? Cold reading is when you're handed a script and you don't get a chance to read it in advance. You have to literally act out or read out the scene right away as it's handed to you. I mean, John, if you want, we can start giving you the most random script-like things to read in chat. You fucking already do that. <laughs> That's why some of you wanted me to make a mom read alert. Pantero sends in, in which Homer encounters some memes? Ah, nothing can make me mad out here. Ag. Piano. Oh. Duke. Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I want to just point out, I want to go back to this part right here, the piano Duke part. Piano Duke. It starts, it starts going into the fucking Duke Nukem theme, just slightly off key. Fucking brilliant. 
fucking brilliant. There's a streamer I watch who has a good boy, girl, or other point redeem. No. No. I'm not shocked, but no. That is the last thing I need to encourage my audience with. Because the last thing I need is for my audience to be like, Hey, John, tell me I'm a good girl or a good boy in the fucking mom voice. And then when I look at them and go like, You know what, chat? You're right. You are a good girl. And I keep doing that. They're going to keep requesting it over and over. And then I'm just going to get that reputation. So I'm probably going to pass on that. Do that again, John? No! No, you fuckers! This is my exact point! This is my exact fucking point! Get that repetition? Fuck you, damn Drew! <laughs> John, that made my heart flutter. Help! Oh no, now you're playing off the- Oh no. Now my- Now my fucking obsession with chaos is starting to kick in. No. <laughs> Am I a good boy? Trey, are you- You dirty motherfucker. Trey. No. No, you're fucking not. You're a praise kink dom to all your subs. I feel like I'm stealing my wife's bit at this point. No, it's not nice to her. I don't know. I feel very weird that my, my VIPs and my mods are the ones that are asking me to get, say if they're good boys or not. I don't know how I feel about this. I think I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm gonna go to break when we come back. Very short dream watch. Uh, probably art block. And we'll hopefully wrap up Adam's Family Values. See you guys in a bit. Thank you for making me spit take milk into my cup. My glasses are splattered. <laughs> You're welcome. Slowly catching up on VODs, but whatever happened with the text to speech alert? Um, I just never ended up doing it, that's all. Have I been a righteous lad, John? <laughs> Jiggler Joggler, I do declare that you have in fact been a very righteous dude. Forsooth. <laughs> Can't even do it without laughing. <laughs> Chat be like, choke me and tell me I'm a good boy or girl, Mommy John. Alright, alright. That's I've been on the internet too long today. Let's <laughs> I'll be back. John, can you teach me how to call people a good boy or girl? Well, it's very easy. You just look at them and go, Hey, you're a good boy. Hey, you're a good girl. That's about it. It's entirely up to you how you actually do the actual delivery, though. That's the trick. <laughs> go, Kai! Go, Kai Orange. Just give it a sub to Mommy. Please spank me. 077. <laughs> Like Andrew's joke. Ever had a dog? That's how you do it. Just say it like they're a dog. I'm leaving now. <laughs> Enjoy the ads. Unless you have a sub. God help me. No God here. That is probably true, sadly. <laughs> Your chat seems to think of you as the safe horny of their lives? Oh no. Oh no. Why? <laughs> I'm still dazed over that good girl line in the femme voice. Oh damn. Oh damn. That is, again, too much fucking power you're giving me. That 
grind a bit. <laughs> Daniel, no! Can someone please give the sub to Psalm91? I'd do it, but I'm on mobile! Oh no! Alright, what did... What did Gokai... Gokai, since I've been gone, or I guess as I was getting ready to leave, gifted a sub to Mommy... Please spank me, 77. Oh, whoa, 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 my dude, gifted a sub to take out the trash. Chaos said gifted a sub to good girl. And Gokai Orange gifted a sub to mommy, please don't milk me. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't do that either. <laughs> please, for the love of God. Would you stop calling the chat a good girl? I'm having a bisexual panic as is. John, no bad. That made me up my heart race with the good girl. I, I don't know how many times I have to keep fucking telling you, chat. Stop giving me this kind of power. <laughs> I've already shown I will use it very irresponsibly. So I shouldn't edit an egg that says you'll give me a good girl? Oh my god, green. Dommy Johnny call me a good boy? Jesus Christ, chat. <laughs> Can we have a point redeem where you call us Jommy's little pog champs? Oh my god. <laughs> Chris Gold. God, fucking save me, Trey. <laughs> what have I done? You... So remember that conversation how you were trying to argue you were the most normal? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Just fuck you straight you up. Can't make that argue. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jamie's little pack champ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you you can't make that argument anymore. <laughs> uh I think I still can. Uh, but I I think I can no, still state that it's the chaos around me. It's the chaos around me. All just how, how many people? Just roughly about 800 people who are telling you, please call me a good good boy slash girl, Jami, please. Yeah, I need call this. me a good girl. <laughs> I 
I will... <laughs> You're asking me to save you. You have no hope. Uh, for fuck's sake. You def you have hit rock bottom if you're asking me of all people. Uh, that's still pretty damning on you, just a heads up on that. <laughs> you think I care? I think you do a little. Okay, maybe just like 10%-ish. Fucking knew it. <laughs> <laughs> don't you call don't <clears throat> you call me out like this. All right, so I got Mikey DCT gift today sub to go to horny jail bonk and anonymous gift today sub to who's a good boy. And now we read alerts. Popski. Yeah, pops. I pops not here. Popski. Pops not here. Pop. Popski probably says hello. I'm sure he would be saying hello if he was here. That's right. Call me a good grill. I'm starving. Boy, mm. I tell you, 77 of spades, you're a good grill. You can Boy, burn that propane what, real well. I've seen a couple of good grills in my time, but I'm pretty sure you're the best dang grill I've ever seen. You've got the wispiness of his voice Damn. down so well. <laughs> I wish I could do a good Hank voice. Because Hank, Hank's voice always, like, fades off on every part near the end of a, of a sentence or a little bit of a phrase. There's just something about his voice that gets slower the more that he talks. Exactly. You fucking got that down so well. <laughs> Jenny, do you want to be called a good girl? You're God. a good girl. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually fucking start charting for this at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> Good grill and good box redemptions. <laughs> I'm a good box. All right, hold on. Where's the? You should be charging, John. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! You're charging people to be Tommy, mommy. Oh fucking save me from Why my own chat. Why did you say that? Save me Why from did my own you say that? Chat. I read the Yo. chat out. It's my job. I'm a streamer. <laughs> Oh my there god. There's some you can Dommy, ignore, Dommy, you ignore me sometimes. <laughs> uh. That's it. That, that's we're gonna have a like a Barbie like doll, but it's the Dommy Jommy Mommy doll. It costs you nothing to not read this. <laughs> it costs me engagement. <laughs> that's what it cost me, Puppet Master. But I thought that's why we're here. To cost me engagement? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? Watch just watch that view count go straight into the turlet. <laughs> <laughs> Do a sixty-six dollar redemption for good girl because sixty-six is lead speak for GG. I I kinda like that. Oh, oh that's pretty I good. I kinda like that. Shit. Whose idea was that? It was Pantero. Pantero, that's a really fucking good idea. <laughs> we got you. Fuck you, Green. You ain't got shit. <laughs> <laughs> Green is definitely not not a good girl or boy. They're they're a bad girl, bad boy. I'll tell you what, that boy ain't right. But dead. I got it at the mall. Got the mall, dead. It's a collective my... effort. Jesus Christ. I saved my money, dead. I bought it with my own money. Wake up, Cherry. You're not John. That reminds me. I should probably put my phone out. Can I be called a mild-mannered girl? <laughs> I think I can do that one. Lucario, you are a great mild-mannered girl. Thank you for being very normal in this fucking chat. All right, uh, alerts. Where were, I'm afraid to read alerts actually after this whole segment has happened. Uh, green power source says hype train. Bad chest one says choo choo. Uno squid says, oh, it's pride wings. 
Gokai Orange says, I'm paying you so that you can get a currently free Steam ah. game. Republic of Jungle, a new party game that can be best described as Secret Hitler meets Push the Button from Jackbox Party Pack 6 meets Zootopia. What? That was so many meets this meets that. What? Secret Hitler meets Push the Button from Jackbox 6 meets Zootopia. Oh, okay. That's still a lot of lots of meets this. Still a lot of meet and greets. All right, where is that? Normal is a setting on the dryer. <laughs> uh, Republic of Jungle. Oh, it's interesting. God, I want Halo Reach! Interesting looking. Mostly positive. Add it to library. <laughs> that had the same energy of Welp unzips. <laughs> <laughs> Welp takes off pants. All right. Welp, Spoonie, looks like you're gonna have to get us out of another jam. <clears throat> Bless you. Empress Nizumi right. says, this is my second stream I managed to catch. I'm Oh, I read this one earlier. I'm glad you, Reese, and Bigel are doing well. Sorry to hear about TRG, but I wanted to share some great news. I started Homeworn, Homeworn today and got engaged to my boyfriend this week. Sending you my luck in this game again. Congratulations. Clockwork, Ooh, Pretzels. Milestones. Clockwork Pretzel says, this message intentionally left blank. Thank you. Yeah. It's just bad to zone out of your streams. You never know what you come back to. Yes, pay attention always. <laughs> Please, I need the engagement. Gold Lightning says, Oh, right, did you pre order Shire and the Wanderer, the Mystery Dungeon of Serpent Coil Island? Yes, did I not put that in the cookie? I thought I did. Yes, it is, in fact, in the cookie. So, yep, it's all set. Adrian Kell says, Not stealing birthday luck, but just stealing luck in general. I've been fishing in Final Fantasy XIV over the past few weeks, and if I don't catch this one tonight at midnight Eastern, it goes away until March 11th. Ah, shit. Well, best of luck for that, Adrian. Here's hoping it works out. Yeah, there's a new Shire and the Wanderer out. It came out, like, a week ago? Two weeks ago? The Mystery oh, Dungeon nice. of Serpent Coil Island. It's on Switch. That's the version I pre-ordered. But I believe it's on Steam as well. Oh, 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 oh my dude says, Was treeing to think of a good tree pun. But since I took such a tremendous time doing it, I, that's uh, doing it that it's fair to say that I am stumped. I think the first one didn't work. The other two do. <laughs> Hot Brand says, "Here, let me donate to the boob fund." No. <laughs> boob fund. Boob fund. Boob fund. Boob fund. Boob fund. Boob fund. Boob. Adrian Kell says, "I did not get the fish. At least I don't have to try again for two weeks." Ah, shit. Sorry, Adrian. John's financial advisor says, John, you know what you need? A nice rack. Forget the 2.9 million. The boob job will pay for itself in no time. It's the single best investment you can make. Who is this financial advisor and why did I hire yeah, them? The, the ROI on these boobies is ridiculous. <laughs> Kid Arkstorm or Egg Pack Mom says, it's officially February 27th where I am, meaning I've officially aged once more of the mom age of 23. Going mm. for that proton luck for this year. Thank you, John, for all the fun laughs and times you provided. Now to try and have things not on, be on fire for me. Happy birthday, Kid Ark. Enjoy your ripe mom age of 23. Come on, you can't uh, go against your financial advisor. I can and probably have numerous times. Oh, 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 my dude says... Oh, it's, oh my god. The fitness gram pacer test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more <laughs> difficult as it continues. The 20-meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster each minute after you hear the signal. Beep. A single lap should be completed each time you hear the sound. Ding. Remember to run in a straight line, and run as long as possible. CD Chow says, John has too much power. Or so much power. Grease Lightning says, when's the Proton John Mother Disciplines Us voice pack? Aww. 
Oh, good DLC. <sighs> Codename Vixen says, John, I just want you to tell me to go clean my room in your chommy voice. <laughs> Vixen, could you do this for me? Vixen, I know you've been very good lately, but I need you to actually go clean your goddamn room, please. And you're not getting any dessert until you get it done, okay? So please, for the love of God, go clean your room. Thank you, Bobby. Oh, yes, that's the good <laughs> shit. Did you have to make it sound like that? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Oh, Peter, that tickles me in a way that if Loretta were to tickle me in that way, I'd say, oh, yeah, that's good. That's the spot. I love the reactions I'm getting. <laughs> God save me. <laughs> <laughs> now Chad is giving me too much power. And cut and John a little bit. <sighs> Shining Silver anyway. says Yeah, I'm back. I'm gonna finish off alerts here first. Shining Silver says, hee hee hee. Good girl. Just shaking my head, Silver. <laughs> Green Power Star says, paying for my trans wrongs. Thank you. <laughs> and Daniel Bonin says, go ahead and pick up Submachine Legacy on Steam. There's no saving you from this. I'm beginning to notice that. I guess people thinking that was Huckleberry Hound means that wasn't as good a Cleveland as I thought. That definitely sounded like, like Cleveland. Ooh. Submachine Legacy, hand-drawn puzzle adventure game. Oh, this looks cool. Hell yeah. <clears throat> All right. Dream Watch has only got one like fragment of a dream, so it's gonna be very fast. Lost some of this dream due to bagel, February 24th to 25th. I remember riding a train with an ex and someone else I can't recognize, but Feely was a friend or a friend I, that I know well. We were trying to get home from somewhere, but all the trains were not stopping and only one car each as they drove by. Eventually we got on one and hopped off at a hotel. My phone's map app is showing a path away from the hotel it wants me to walk, but my ex says we should go into the hotel first and drop off all of our stuff. Hey. The hotel's pretty big. Don't know if a con is going on or if we're just if we just got back from one. Everyone wants to go up to their rooms to drop off stuff. Decided to meet back up in the lobby. Something feels off about the hotel though. We go some we go some odd back route into the rooms area, but it's just endless hallways. The two I'm with find their rooms fast, but mine seems extremely far away from everyone else's. That's all I can remember. So I guess I had a back rooms dream, sort of. Not sure on that one. And that is all I got for uh, Dreamwatch. Is it game time? It's probably game time. So let's. It's always see. game time. It is game time. Let's see if we can finish this game. Amen. It's game time, I tell you what. No, you just actually went to the back rooms for a bit? Yeah, I can see that. Just the join Shinin. the chat. Li uh, live in Texas and saw your talk about temperatures. Today we had 35 degrees Celsius. Oh, I'm so fucking jealous. Uh, it's minus 20 right now here. Minus 20 Celsius. Whoa! I have three That's cold! I have three hints from this guide for the end game. One, the really tough part is the fact that you don't want to use any cookies in Dungeon 7. Not that you can't, but let me make this clear. Do not use any cookies. You will need them in the mansion slash final boss. Oh boy. Number two, when you see red ghost, use the music box. Number three, don't touch the black egg? Don't touch the mushroom, John. All right, well, Let's those are some it. interesting hints to have. Let's see what we can do. Unfortunately, the Nintendo Power issue I thought this hint was at, not the same one. But I know I've seen it. I have a lot of Nintendo Powers. That is fair. 
If anyone would be able to casually go to the back rooms and casually walk back out, it would be you. Thank you, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Thank you? Glad to know I can defy curses. <laughs> Alright, so try not to use any cookies in Dungeon 7. That's gonna be... That's a big fucking ask. Hey, John, don't use any cookies. I'm gonna remind you. Thanks. That's a big fucking ass, though. Big that's fucking a big, ask. ask. Oh, that's a big fucking ass. Great <laughs> ask. Great, huge ask. Are you kidding me? You see the size of that ask? Oh, what? What is happening here? Okay, I'll that was weird. A nickel on that ask. I'm not sure how much that's defying your curse or just utilizing it for your own personal business. <laughs> Don't forget to unplug the Game Boy. The Game Boy's been unplugged. It's sitting on my desk right now. Don't worry. It's fine. Oh, nice. I got the bloodlust, just like the say. Are you getting them kill streaks? Yeah, I killed that guy with my bare hands. For reference's sake, Andrew's grinding Fortnite right now to get the Krang backpack. <laughs> yeah, I was seriously just like, hey, I can hop on Kokos because I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I can't help you grind in Fortnite. I'm just dealing with the super boss right I would, now. And I wouldn't have well. anyone else help me grind in Fortnite but you, John. Oh, thank you. I know yeah. that's a fucking lie, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, Masay's around sometimes. If, if Masay's here, I'll ask her too. I was gonna say, Masay, Masay's gotten fucking addicted. It's actually kind of impressive. Did you hear? Oh, so like she got one of her mods to start playing Fortnite last yeah. week. Yeah, Gami. They are already level 100. Gami, holy shit! Yeah, right? That's what I said. Andrew, what have you done? Honestly, this is John's fault. Honestly, yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> I started John playing monster. it because he was playing it. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people I know like started playing it because I've I've been playing it. The hell is that? I clearly need it, but what is it? Is that a cookie? You know you're not supposed to eat those. Uh, just in case, let's try the magnet. There we go. I now have an amulet of true sight. Sight beyond sight. I now have a raid from Hypercole. Cole, don't, don't, don't show up tonight. Cole beyond Cole. <laughs> don't show up tonight. Just don't show up, Cole. Cole, Once you're done the raid, you should down. probably leave, because it's, it's been one get of those nights. It's been one of those nights, Cole. Get Jesus Christ. Hand, Cole. My wife hates that I do this voice. Hypercole, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good, but it's it's been a night tonight. That's the word we'll use. What? It's, that's the word what we'll use. What are you use. talking about? What are you talking about? Everything so, has been perfectly kind of boring and normal. 
Oh, it's been so normal. So normal and and nothing. So normal. normal. So, so normal. normal. I'm gonna give Xander the hollow this wisdom of Duke because of how normal it's been. I understand. See, there's Duke oh, no. right there. Super Dr. normal Duke. Connor's class. I got so caught up in what I was doing, I forgot all about it. And there goes Duke. It's gonna kill me. <laughs> gonna kill me. So, John, am I a good girl for bringing up the good girl boy other idea in the first place? Here's the thing. I can't say that you're a bad boy or bad girl, because if I fucking do that, if I definitely do that in the mom voice, uh, never you're playing into it. Yeah, I'm playing into it. Don't do it. I know. Do that's it. exactly it. I can't. You want, but the, it's the, the, just like those cookies. You know the cookies? Don't eat them. Don't say good boy. But but this is the problem, though. The, the chaos side of me is like, you gotta fucking do it. You gotta do Ooh, it. Cole. You got this fucking voice. You yes. gotta have fun with it. And I'm just like, no, don't. That's just what they no, want. Don't do it. Don't do it. Y'all need Jesus. <laughs> I don't want to hear that from you so of all right people. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you, what are you talking about? Jesus, you people. people already know at this point. It's nothing new. What the fuck? So wait, exactly. so, what, so what you're saying is we don't have to listen to you because we already know you need Jesus? Yeah. Yes. Okay, just making sure. But yeah, let's talk about some of the people who do need Jesus around here. Let's see what they have to say. Yeah, like pro John. John, kick that devil off your shoulder and don't do it. The problem is the do the fucking devil's pon pon and she can fly. Anyway, good luck dealing with this crowd, Bob. I wonder what he was trying to say. It sounded um, like he was saying bye and then he might have been talking about bicycles. He could have he could have been talking about bicycles. Oh, you know what? He's he talking is, about he's his really favorite. into bikes, I think. He's talking about his favorite Mario character, Bison. You know. Why'd you go for that not Street Fighter? Best Bipson ever made. <laughs> World's best Bipson. Smide the cunning you cannot see. An amulet of yours will be the key. To finish him in woeful wrath and put you onto the right path. So I guess we, that's what we need the amulet of seeing for. Also, wasn't that the same actor who played Gomez in the Adams Family as well? That's Raul Julia, yeah. Bison, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Jesus has yeah, better things to do. He has to get ready for Easter. That bunny costume has to get a deep cleaning and he doesn't have laundry services around him. Oh, poor Jesus. He'll be fine. Poor though. Jesus. Can you tell me, are you winning, son, in a daddy voice? Do we even have a daddy voice? No, because everybody just wants the mommy. I guess that's, <laughs> the, that's the problem, yeah. Are you winning, son? What hey, kind Link. of video game? The is problem is I Fortnite? start trying to slip into like fucking Patrick Warburton like, Hey Link, you winning hey, Link. son? How you doing? Hey, hey Peter. Are you winning? Have you heard of this game Fortnite? <laughs> it's great with kids. Daddy voice might be buff taunt? No, this is not the daddy voice. This is just a bit about Arnold. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's Zaddy. Proton Zaddy. Are you winning son? Are you Scramble winning, son? fairies. What are you doing? Yeah. Zaddy the baddie. Know, fuel. Zaddy, jaddy, baddie. Jaddy's just used that, that. So what, my normal voice is dad? <laughs> yeah. What's the difference between daddy and just dad? Yo, son, you winning? Good. Hey. Hey, son. Hey, son. You winning? What game I got, I got me to be fair. I can just like... Hey, hey, buddy, how you doing? Hey, champ, come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just this is when like you bring the camera closer to you. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, come uh, on. Let's let's go to camera three. Hey, hang on, yeah, hang on. We're going to camera three right now. We're going to camera three right now. All right, camera three right now. All right, where's camera three? Hey, hey, hey. what's going on, guys? Hey, I need I need hey, sports fans notes right now. Mm -hmm. Are you winning? Are you being good? Good. Kinda. Because you really need yeah. this. You really need this. Because I'm concerned about a lot of you right now. <laughs> really concerned about a lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, I'm fine. Dude, I'm fine. I don't need any of your help. I don't need to hear you. I don't have to take this from you. Actually, you can and you are. Your mustache is very thin, John. Yes, because I shaved. I shaved like two weeks <laughs> it's, ago. It's, it's so thin, it's like it's not even there. It's almost like if he was trying to do a, a Gomez. It's like it's not even there at all. 
There it all. I didn't even pause there the all. fucking game. Shit. Oops. <laughs> Where's my controller? <laughs> if Fester's been eating cookies while you've been hanging out on camera three. Was that bagel on the chair behind you? Yes. So okay. So if, if all right, no more weird ass close ups this time. Bagel is right there, sleeping on his chair. Oh, look at that big boy. There's his little new bed in the back there too. He likes to sleep on. That's a very good boy. He is a good boy. And yes, I no. have shaved. Because I had a depression beard going and I needed to collect, clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like shaving that depression beard, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you what. Nothing, nothing satisfies me more than shaving off my depression beard and a fantastic Baja Blast. <laughs> <laughs> Can you unshave it? No, it's not how it fucking works. Unshave it? Yeah, give me like three weeks. Like three weeks, that's generous. I'm gonna need like at least a month. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah. I need to show some people some turtle power. Soon. What? <laughs> when you kill somebody with the ninja weapons, it's yeah. called you showed them turtle power. Oh, yeah, that's true. So I, I, need, just, I need to show some fool some turtle power. Honestly, like, I didn't have any problem getting that. Like, well, but I was... You are the L-E power. But I was also, like, always running towards, like, vending machines <laughs> to get the weapons. Oh, okay, that's fair. Yeah, well, I mean, I have the weapons. Have you ever thought about getting into competition with good Jared? Well, with... Why would I... Why would oh, I so compete? good, good I'll, Jared I'll I'll lose. has a really good hand kill. You've heard it, right? Yeah. I've heard it. I don't think I could beat that, not without, like, plenty of practice. And plenty of fresh, delicious Baja Blast. I seem to not be able to make progress. What do I need to do with the buttons? Uh-oh. Honestly, the best way to play this game is to just run around like an idiot and never look for anybody. You don't look for trouble, trouble won't find you. Can you do the Silver Surfer Hank Hill commercial? The what? Have you never seen that? No. Where he gets oh, he wait, makes the no, Silver I Surfer's have. fucking like uh, surfboard run on propane. Yeah. <sighs> Let me die and I'll look Good. it up. <laughs> Let me just die. Let me just fucking die or whatever. I don't care. Die. I don't. I don't want this anyway. It wasn't worth it. Hold on. Let me die. No, I'll go check. This was it. done for like Fox Kids when they were introducing new shows. Yes, it was. It's so funny because like Fox was so adamant about trying to get you to watch both things. Like it wanted you to watch kids shows, but it also wanted you to watch King of the Hill. And it's like those two, like Bobby's World and King of the Hill did not mix. Bobby's World and Bobby, no bueno. Did not mix. I'm glad I saw that strut emote and ex knew exactly whose it was, but I even had to check. <laughs> to be fair, this, this, I don't know, I'm assuming chat may have brought this up at some point, but like, it has that energy. There's like some kind of instrument that's playing that just reminds me of it. I'm just watching these two hang around. I'm just gonna pick <clears throat> off the loser. John Cocom's curious if you can help me. I'm making a bespoke review system and I want to know what makes a wizard fun and not fun to play in video games. Uh, oh. Wizards, in my mind, are all about power fantasies, so you should be able to do cool shit. You should be able to just blow shit up and go wild. Do weird things that you would not think to do in any other game. As much as the game pisses me off, Magic is probably the greatest example of like a wizard in a game, because you can literally do anything at the I guess cost it also of depends. all of your friends' health. Yeah, like, I feel like it also depends on like what kind of game you're playing. Like, are you talking about tabletop? Or are you talking about like, like a Dark Souls build? Maybe tabletop, right? It's 
Somebody read chat for me. I can't look. Through this portal, doom does await a maze of puzzles you will just hate. From Jelinski's mind, it was spawned. Do not say you were not warned. Warned. Louisiana Dynamite Fishing Raid. Well, that sounds powerful as fuck. You all some of that Louisiana Dynamite? Hell yeah, brother. Well, I'll tell you what. Alright, general yelling for about three seconds like you're about to do a powerful attack. Think anime. That works. Damn it. Turtle power. I'm glad, Wait, I, unmuted. I'm glad I unmuted just as you said turtle power. Tur <laughs> Hi, Wang. Thank you for the raid, my dude. Hopefully your stream was good. We're trying to wrap up Adam's family values, but apparently we're going to be in an interesting spot here for a bit. T U R T L E power. T U R T L E power. U-R-T-L-E power. Teenage power, power. Mutant Ninja Turtles. Power, 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 power. 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 Overwhelming. Oh no, it's a fucking <laughs> invisible wall more. maze. God power. damn it. I need more power. Unlimited turtle power. <laughs> now I'm just, just fucking Virgil. It's like, I need more power. It's just one of the turtles popping up. It's like, what, do you want turtle power? How do I obtain this turtle power? Turtle power. All right, who shot at me? Oh, you. Okay. I do not like this invisible maze. Damn it. It, in fact, sucks a big one. How's your boom power voice? Well, uh, uh, Tanger, they'll tell you what, but I can't really do that. Talking about that thing when they're there, when they kind of you know, do the thing when you just kind of say the word and then kind of just do the gibberish, man. You got you got the inflection down, but you don't have the speed. And the problem is like Bruno yeah, is is both. Yeah, oh, okay. it's it's Dang like it's. Yeah, talk talking real fast, man. Uh, only more people. Talking about that there, the Dangle. You know, you're talking about like, hey, man, I don't know what you're talking about, but like, I think the problem is you're talking about something that I really think is important. But you know, you know, I haven't really got that down, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I got I mean? the I got the speed, but I don't have like his inflection. Down. You got the it's inflection more down. dang old. <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on. I died. And we're dead. Hell, silver, surfer. You sounded like a sped up Columbo. That's a new one. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you about it, my mom. Why wife I for there? They're just telling me she can just drives her insane. Let's see if I can just get the transcript. Damn. Have you seen Tiny Columbo? So good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that one. It's like, me, one of these fries will keep me fed for, for a long time. But you, you're going to need the energy for the coming days. <laughs> I don't, me, I don't eat much because I'm on account of being tiny at all. <laughs> FYI, it's button one and three to save time. Thank you, Peggy. I was going to ask you that. Beg a hill. Mr. Surfer, have you ever considered propane as an alternative energy source for that board of yours? 
<laughs> With a little retool and I can get it to work. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Since you're my neighbor and I like you, I'm gonna give you the new neighbor discount and a free t-shirt. There you go. Perfect, perfect. This is an actual commercial you can watch. And it was just to promote Silver Surfer on Fox Kids. And they used Hank Hill. Oh, that's right. It was a whole block. Yeah. They just put King of the Hill for the entire block of Fox Kids. Oh, yeah, there it is. Hold on. Let me see if I can remember this part. Oh, whoops. I need to play the game. Shoot. Did you thank the bus driver? No time. Yeah, I'd do that. How bus driver offers a valuable you? service. He, he look, lets you I jump out of his bus. Multiple times. Uh, reach full shields, damage opponents while full health. Alright. Yeah, I'm on phase four of six. It's gonna take a while. Thankfully, you don't have to do every mission. You only do have to do five in each set. I know, but uh, phase three was kind of rough because like two of them required multiplayer. Yeah, I don't. None of the others. I did five and six in solo, no problem. So. Is Hank Hill coming to Fortnite? God, I wish. I uh, dude. That's why I'm getting Peter Griffin. If I can get Peter and Hank Hill, I will be so freaking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so close to getting the um, the fancy suit for Peter. Oh my God. And I'm just like, I want this so bad, but that's also, it's going to be too much gaming for the next week of just Fortnite. Oh, just, God scared me. I was already complaining about not playing other shit. <laughs> I have a problem. Yeah, the problem is I'm not playing Fortnite right now. But you can change that immediately. I could, but that would require some lack of self-control. And as I have shown you, you in have this stream that. numerous times, you have that right now, <laughs> I am very capable of being under control in a situation. I have shown numerous times that I don't have any issues at all and don't like messing with my chat even remotely. What are you talking about? They're all good boys and good girls. Where's the way out of here? Jesus Christ, there it is. Thank you, Jami, for say, telling me I'm a good boy and girl. I mean, really, the voice that I want to do is Bill's right now for this special occasion. <laughs> I just see Dan going, shut! <laughs> they think you can call me a good boy. Luann used to call me a good Call boy. me a good thing, damn it. All right, fine. Begrudgingly, Waluigi, you're a very good thing. <laughs> good for you. Uh, I wish I had someone who would mess with me like John does with chat. Look, y'all fucking mess with me on a regular basis. I gotta have something in my pocket. It's too one-sided sometimes. I'm tearing the internet out of the wall. Wow. Wow. The violent reaction. Taking this old fashioned computer modem and I'm just. No more. That will be gone. Damn. Come on, there's gotta be fucking health around here somewhere. Damn it. Is Proton John a psyop? That would explain a lot. A psyop of what? That's what I want to know. Like a vocal chameleon. Oh, I forgot I could double jump. Right. John, was it being revealed that you were just an MIT experiment and that we've been all been in a study on how downloading a community, how down bad a community can get? Oh my god. 
Y'all do get down pretty bad. There it are times I wish I could be like, all right, well, here's my thesis paper on just my community, the internet community in general. I wish I could just actually be able to write that. Because I feel like at this point, I could write a fucking PhD. <laughs> I could write a pretty fucking solid thesis based on you guys. You don't know me. You don't know me, but I know where you live. You're a psyop put here to crack as many eggs as possible. I have not cracked that many eggs. Just think, with don't this many that. repeat customers, I could be supplying alternative no, energy that's so dirty. to the entire galaxy. What? You heard me. No, not that. What? Oh. Are they... There's a fake warp somewhere to get in here. There must be. Oh, I met a new character for the first time in forever. I have serious doubts that you haven't cracked a lot of eggs. Really? <laughs> you write it down and give it to your therapist as your thesis? Oh my god, no. <laughs> no, that's the last thing she needs. How bad have you told your therapist that your chat gets down bad? Oh, she finds it hilarious. Explain to me this down bad. So there's no way to get past that and get those health items. God damn, are you kidding me? So usually the chat will get down the floor, probably like stomach up, laying on their back saying, um, tell me I'm bad, please. I need this. Please tell me I'm ba how bad I am. What is wrong with you? Why are you like this? Because it's fucking funny. All right, fair enough. Got me there. Woo! That was dangerous. I will sacrifice trade to the nearest pagan god I can find, Maniacal says. I don't want to hear that from him of all people. Fuck you. <laughs> just pick, just uh, pick one. I don't care. <laughs> I'll do it. God damn it. There's got to be some way to get to this health. Ah, oh, this sucks. Sacrifice green to the pagan god. That'll probably be a better sacrifice anyway. Yeah, don't drag me into this. I'm sure they I'm sure they want to play out that like damsel in distress tied to the pole about to be sacrificed to the the pagan god. Why? <laughs> That's how you get down bad. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just thought it was something super fucking cliche. That's cliche to you? <laughs> I don't know. It can uh, be just if you throw in some train tracks, and then <laughs> yeah, you mean that that part? Oh. Then you're cliche. Yeah, help, help! I already have the fire ready, says Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> Maniacal didn't know what sis was, gamer. Oh my god. I've heard, I've heard stories. Kind of pagan stories. drops pagan. P A G A N. Damn it. Was there a switch? Where was it? Was it back in that room and I just didn't see it? Because I need that health. I need to go back and get it. What? Did you use the cookie? I told you not to use the damn cookie, John. No, I have not used the cookie. But I okay, really good. fucking could use that health. I was, gonna, I was about to lose it for a minute. <laughs> Like, how Just dare you eat that cookie? Lose it all over this stream. not to eat the cookie. Dang it, I told you not to eat the dang cookie. God dang it. Dang it, John. Dang it, Johnny. Keep an eye... What? Keep an eye out for the switch behind the first big wall that's above its twin. Thanks, oh. Game Facts. Here. Uh oh. Just gonna let these guys fight it out. I That's definitely right. do not feel like I got that. Oh, they're running away. 
Oh, I did get it. Never mind. Ah, oh, they're only half heals. Shit. Oh, nuts. M Macadamia? No. Peanuts? I could leave... Uh -huh. I could leave the maze right now, and I think the uh -huh. shortcut stays open. And I could go try to recharge, like, my health somehow, but I might just be wasting a bunch of time doing that. <sighs> I worry about that. That might be too big of a waste of time. Ah, uh, the dilemma of streaming. I mean, I also don't want to waste my time. <laughs> it's not always it's not always about chat. Those good little boys and girls. You kings of the ocean. Out of your mods, do you think more of your mods would be the villains tying damsels to train tracks or rescuing a damsel tied to the tracks? I think there's an even distribution between the villain, the hero, <laughs> and the damsel. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the mod tier list? <laughs> I'm gonna act on though you Sean wouldn't. is the damsel. All right, here. We, okay, let's let's get out of this here now. Required. Which one's Dudley Do Right? Is the real question. Oh no, I'm saying maniac. Maniacal's trying to say, oh, I didn't rescue the damsel. I'm like, no, you wouldn't. Fuck, you would not. You you make this one big like elaborate joke to make it look like. Oh, Who would be I'm the really the villain, but no. All right, good Who'd <laughs> Who's the Look, conductor? The train is definitely chat. Let's be fucking real here. Okay, you know what? I I, I believe that. The chat's Who's just ready to Who's flying this train? Oh no! Back you fucker. Here we go. Thank you. Needed a skull. Oh my god, I need five full skulls just to get green back. Oof. Do we need green back though? I kinda do. Blocking the way out. That's what he's doing. Oops. This game is cursed. Am I wrong? I don't think it's cursed. It's just it's just <laughs> tough. Yeah, it's not like Fester's quest or anything. Good, you well, guys he keeps saying it just needed a couple of minor tweaks and it'd actually be pretty half decent. Yeah, honestly, like if a fan team decided to do like a director's cut version of this, it probably would be like uh it would be a sleeper hit. Is this what like uh did Ocean make this? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it sounds about right. What about this game screams ocean? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I don't know the licensed propertyness of it. The licensed propertyness is the, the kind of okayness of it. Need I go on? No, but you can if you want. The festeriness of it. Oh, that just sounds gross when you wear it like that. Yeah, well... Since, since someone's asking, a... no, I can't use the, the amulet to reveal the hidden walls. I can use oh. one of those right now. Ocean, the ones that did Waterworld? Yes. Yeah, those guys. They were like the kings of licensed uh, properties. They weren't all bad, if I remember correctly. Like, they were decent. Oh, they, I gotta go. They have some fun games. 
A bunch of games I've played in my childhood that I beat, such as Dennis the Menace. And Adam's Family. Well, I haven't beaten this yet. Didn't you beat the first one? I have not beaten any Adam's Family games, but I've heard... Whoa! Like, I've heard the other ones on the SNES are actually kind of fun. God, you think you know someone. Hang on, I gotta fight this boss without using a cookie? Yes. I will get mad. Not another inmate. Why are you always trying to escape? It's hopeless, you know. No one gets out of here. But they always try. It makes my life a misery. Do you think I have nothing better to do? Well, I don't. So let's get this over quickly. Oh, by the way, please don't struggle. My back is killing me. And what with my piles, the last thing I need is to struggle. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Alright, I'm bored. We're getting out of here. And now I need the amulet. Big fan of this music, though. The music is really good. I gotta give the game that. Damn, another raid? Toxic Jack! Yo, how's it going, my dude? Oh! We don't like those. Dude, just trying to beat Adam's family values for the Super Nintendo man. You know how it is. Let's run some countermeasures for good old Jack. Toxic X Eternity, thank you so much for the raid. Hope your stream was good, but Getting bodied oh, wow. by Adam's family values, my dude. They're kicking my teeth in. That's why I'm throwing bowling balls at them. And that's why you can't eat the cookies, because you don't got no tooth. Shit, shit, shit. Why? I'm sure you could still uh, do it if they would like crap. those um, frosted sugar cookies. I doubt it! Let's take, let's take the gamble. Let's take the gamble. I'm famed Adam's family character. Smash Ghost. Smash Ghost? Yeah, that's what he doing. Shit. Oh, uh, Fester has a migraine. See, look at that. Look at that. Parallax Cemetery. Unfortunately, that puts us back here. Back to start. 
It's fun getting into trouble. Popomatic trouble. So, apparently, for our own sanity and for making the end of the game easier, we gotta get through here without using any healing items. Which, as you can imagine, is not an easy feat. <coughs> Sometimes enemies will drop basically the equivalent of half a heart, and most of the time they won't. <laughs> uh, yeah. We can't get some from Grandma after? Apparently, according to those that have already beaten this game before, and those looking at the guidebook, after we're done this dungeon, we can no longer go see Grandma. No more Grandma. Grandma. Does that count? Two. A three. I don't think that counted. So we get the age-old wisdom of get good. I mean, in a nutshell, I suppose. I'm curious if somehow... Whoop. No, damn it. I should have taken the door to try to reset that. You got this. I believe in you. Actually, hang on. Let me think about this. Let me... Will this do what I think it will? Only one way to find out. Bark, bark. Okay, so that should, theoretically, uh -huh. uh, make it so I don't have to keep going to get that damn amulet. It does That's respawn the enemies, but... Trade-offs, huh. after all. That's a little respawning between friends. But I'm trying to kill them. They're, we're not friends. How could you say that? Pretty easily. I'm electrocuting them. I thought I knew you. What did I know? You mean you're the I one who didn't come to me electrocuting people in front of me, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, a rocket launcher. Hey, strong bad. I brought back your fondue pot. <laughs> you're telling me that friends don't electrocute friends damn someone should have told me that sooner Gwen why would I actually not be surprised if you were the kind of person that actually electrocuted one of your friends yeah but at least at least I know never meet your heroes god I feel like you <laughs> fuck you <laughs> <laughs> Call the hand buzzer, John. Yeah, I know. My point still stands, motherfucker. You're still electrocuting someone. It's been a while since I had a good old hand buzz. All right, hold on. Let me check out my quests. Is there a shorter path around I could possibly find? Oh, I can keep catching up. Just right. stupid. But yeah. So that's six. That's the fucking way I gotta go, huh? That sucks. All right. Seven. Still not sure what that eight. does. It's gonna be an animal refill. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Where is this? There it is. Nine. Fuck! Move. Move. I do not like Jeez. these enemies. They're adorable! They're a pain in the ass to deal with. Name one cute thing that isn't a pain in the ass. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I guess if that's what you consider cute. <laughs> Not what I was going for, but okay. Y'all. You want a hand buzz? Just wrap your hand around a... Personal massager. It's for my ache and back. Come on, drop some health, damn it. I 
guess we can go get the free heal over here. Even though it's just gonna be one skull. Hit opponents beyond 40 meters? I can that's maybe pretty do that. That's pretty easy to do. I just have to find some dudes. That part's oh, found true. a dude. Did you make it a set five by the sounds of it? Uh, no, this should... I'm still in four. Oh, I thought that was a set five challenge. Nah, it's still four. I mean, the good news is, even if I don't, even if I give up on this quest, I'm at level 57 now. Nice. So, and I started at 50 today. I don't know. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and then you have my opening statement. <laughs> shit, ubu, shit. Good dog. Whee! I now have two dogs with me. Two stupid dogs. Two stupid dogs. Two stupid dogs. They're not stupid, but they're very bratty. Alright, are going to be good now? Do I make the dumb move? I think we are do. You gonna be, I'm just curious. Are you going to be a good girl? Oh, uh, no! There <sighs> we go. Some regrets from that. No regrets over here. Mr. Hill, you have no ass. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> How did this show get away with so many dumb plot lines like that and yet still be considered pretty down to earth? <laughs> I, to be an old white man and have uh, a, what they call Kermit the Frog legs. It's very relatable. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peggy, about my narrow urethra. Forget it. Like, I think they both got, like, either high or wasted. And Hank's just apologizing. Or, like, you just soak yourself in peaches three times a day, Hank. I don't know peaches, Hank. Or he's thinking, like, if he gets Ladybird pregnant with, like, a litter... <laughs> they can hell? get them a second child. But Peggy was starting to get jealous because he's like, but well, I want to be pregnant. Why are you worried about Ladybird getting pregnant? Oh, right, because he loves that dog more than life itself. Yep. Yeah, well, say, I tell you. Ladybird. Yep. What's your favorite King of the Hill episode since you're on the subject? I feel like because of that stupid oh. video, it's got to be the Boggle one. Oh. Boggle Someday. one's a pretty... The Boggle one's pretty good. There's the, uh... Everyone's oh, I love here. the, uh... The Spring Break episode's actually good, too. I like the episode where... Oh, fuck, what was it? It was the two-parter where they, like, blew up the store. And then oh, they're like, oh, who's oh, gonna Mark die out of these four characters? And one's, like, a literal real human being, like a guest star. <laughs> one's Hank, and one's, like, Luann's boyfriend or some shit like that. And it's just like, gee, I yeah. wonder who's gonna die. I think they were making fun of the who killed Mr. Burns thing. I mean, I can't aim for shit. I don't even think they did. I don't even think they gave you suspects for the Mr. Burns thing. I thought. No, they didn't. It was just who shot Burns. This suit burns good. Burns this suit. Burns this suit. Just check burns this suit for for evidence. Fuck. <laughs> for God. Whatever, whatever Lisa says. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she wouldn't have dropped an F-bomb. I mean, probably not, but you never know. They were pretty edgy back then. Simpsons I mean, were so edgy. The thought of the Simpsons of all things being edgy. Make a little mark go boom. I, just remember uh, the, uh... I always think back to the, the one where they go to Japan. Oh, it's she, she says. Okay. Oh, the King of the Hill episode where they go to Japan? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the two-parter. That was another good one. 
Actually, I thought the season, for, like the series, like for the entire show, was was pretty good. I never did see the actual series finale, but isn't that like the episode that finally revealed what Boomhauer's job was? Uh, that's the yeah, but it's like it's not a plot point. They just do it at the end of the show. Oh, he was like a Texas Ranger or something like that. Yes. He was Walker the whole time. I'll tell you what. Dang old Texas Ranger, man. Isn't King of the Hill surprisingly popular in Japan? I do believe so. It's, I remember like the jokes about it being like the American equivalent of anime. <laughs> Hello. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh, no. You're ready to jump up, aren't you? You're ready to cause more trouble. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, he on the desk. Uh oh. He assumed the position. He's assumed Kitty cat the position. Trouble on the desk. Right before we get to a boss. Ooh, you're stinky. You just pooped somewhere, didn't you? Did you poop somewhere or did you fart? Did you fart in my face? You little, you little farter. Hi. Yeah. Father, please express my anal glands. <laughs> <laughs> I, I please never utter that sentence again. Which part? All of it. <laughs> Hi. Hi, boy. One thing that they cut from the finale was Bill finally getting over his ex-wife by throwing the wedding cake he kept in this freezer in the trash. Oh wow, that's a weird thing. To oh cut. wow. It sounds like it's a four-time thing. I just remember watching it on Hulu like the day after it aired. Oh god, what was that one episode where... It was just another like Bill-focused episode where he was thinking he was like an entirely different person, like a woman or something. Oh yeah! It, he thought, I think he like thought he was Luann. Or like became Luann. Like it was a no, really no, weird episode. Not Luann. He just assumed himself as a completely different person. Yeah, he, I thought he was like... thinking he was his own ex-wife. I thought that was the plot. Like I could that... be wrong. I don't even think it was that one. It's just like, you know, another one of his depre depression episodes. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I fucking choir one. Oh, Lenore. Okay, so he thought he oh, was... Oh, Lenore. Right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept getting the name wrong. Luann is, yeah, the, the cousin. Lenore. Yeah, and, there, that sounds right. Oh, the NASCAR one. That's another good one. Uh, the one where he shakes Bush's hand and doesn't want to vote for him anymore. Oh, no, he has that. a weak handshake. I forgot about that one. No, it was basically he was trying to teach his son Bobby about like responsibility and work and whatnot. So he's working at like the racetrack while Boomhauer is trying to get a spot to be like a backup driver for the, uh, the NASCAR race that was happening in town. And the guy Bobby's working ah. for is a f fucking lunatic. And Bobby's trying to even tell Hank, I think he's crazy. But he just. What about the. Son being, like, oh, yeah, irresponsible, irresponsible, like a kid, until well, finally, man. like, his friends point out to him, like, wait, you told him to listen to that guy? No, he's actually crazy. <laughs> Which it just, it, and finally, it ends when he, the guy, nearly causes his son, Bobby to like walk through the racetrack while the cars are going through because he is thirsty. And uh, then he starts t talking shit, and Hank runs through the track just to kick his ass. There's also the one where, um. Bobby gets a job uh, cleaning up poop. I don't remember that one. But I do like what... Oh, it was the ventriloquist dummy. But then it cr it ended up awakening like PTSD and Dale. Mister, <laughs> what are you doing? I, do, I just like the, the ending Hi. bit of the episode where it's just like, Perimeter breach! Perimeter breach! He cha changes through the channels until he sees the doll's face and he just screams. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then he knocks himself out with chloroform, like, you'll never get me. Mister, your butt's blocking half the TV. You ain't helping much. John Redcorn is a true friend. This 40, hit, hit opponents beyond 40 meters. It sounds like I have to do a hit 40 times. Oh That's God! A lot. The, the, or is that just in meters? I I don't remember if I'm being honest. <clears throat> Shit! Well, there goes the health I got. What are you gay? What? No! I sell propane. <laughs> Mister. Buddy, I love you, but I can't I can't play with you right now. I'm busy playing video game. Yeah, lie down, Do good this. boy, buddy. Good boy. Yeah, good oh boy. right, like the the whole furry episode, like from Dubus McGoovis, like the animated shorts, like, Dad, I I, I don't wanna be be a lion, I wanna I forget the animal he he jokes about, but then it kinda goes off like how all his friend then all of Hank's friends basically say, Yeah, yeah, no, this animal's actually secretly very dangerous. Uh, good, sh good show. Good, Very good relatable. TV show. I wonder how that revival is gonna go. I don't. Is it still happening? I am wondering about that, considering <clears throat> Dale's voice actor passed away in the last few months. Whoa, okay. Hi, hello, how are you? Hey, hi, hello. Good, good, good to see you. How you doing? You push it back to 2025 at least? Man, getting a sound alike for, for Dale is going to be real rough. Just hire Andrew to replace Dale. He can do every voice anyway, so why not? Oh, there you go. Hey, drop security! I'm the winner! You are you are the winner, the winner Andrew? Andrew? Ugh. He doesn't sound too happy about it. You won the King of the Hill job. I got a crown. Nice. Congratulations on being royalty. Shit. Ugh. My heart rate's at a not good level. Uh, that's not good. Well, you know, it's because I'm just so hardcore gaming. Oh, God, there's no way to block that. Dude, this run's gone to shit. I've got three skulls to go fight this boss. All right, let them figure that out. Have Dale be voiced by Seth MacFarlane, and, have, and Dale just sounds like Peter Griffin. There you go, perfect. Uh, just get Tracy Morgan to do it. <laughs> For one episode. No, all of them. It's fine. It's okay. Ugh. All right. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen. What I have been doing is getting better at the game, though. <laughs> So, you know, I mean, whatever. that's helpful <laughs> traditionally. You know, been all right. Congrats on being a Fortnite gamer. Yeah. Hey, you're a Fortnite gamer. Which is a gamer. At least I have a Fortnite. Got him. I'm almost at. Oh, God, man, don't do this to me. I almost have the dumb blimp. Then you can pay money and you can get Super Shredder! <laughs> I can't believe you've done this.
At least I can claim stuff. It's so hard to tell where some of these rocks are falling. Man, you can't eat a single cookie? Well, it's been recommended not to. <laughs> you don't have to listen to them. No, if the game ending is as hard as I have heard, I really should not eat any cookies. But they're so awful tasting, though. Yeah? I mean, that's, that's what you want, is as an, Adam, as an Adam's family member. You want them off. Exactly. God damn it. I'm trying to get more health, not lose it all. You were supposed to be the chosen one. Okay, I'm back to where I was. So as someone who hasn't played Fortnite since season, season 5 or 6 of, I guess, the first set of seasons, how does modern day Fortnite compare to back then? Um, it's chaotic. <laughs> yeah, it's... Way it's... Putting it. You can fly with swords now. There's grappling hooks, at least for the current yeah. season. There's bosses you can fight. Decent variety in weapons. Pretty much anything's winnable. Like, there's stuff to do, which is part of, I guess, like, quote-unquote, my problem. Because in order to get what I need, I have to do all these quests. And I still need to do, what is it, 10? I have to do still 11 quests when you think about it. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. That's all right. I... It's been tough to kind of just like find time to sit down with the game anyway, so you that's know. fair. I sat down and tried to do it last night. I was just like, all right, I need some unwind time, so <laughs> let, let me shoot some things in Fortnite, get my missions. Yeah, and then like I, I was literally telling uh, my wife this morning is like I just saw your post at like 4 a.m. in the morning, my time, and I'm just kind of like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Really? Here's a now? better question. Would you have used the backpack? Honestly, I think the one thing that I want more than the backpack is the blimp. How far away are you from and the that, blimp? Uh, let's see. I'm at 92... 9,200 ooze. Oh, you need 11,000 for it, don't you? Yeah, which is basically just doing the quests anyway. When you think about it. Yeah, I was gonna say just do the easy like music ones, but then I think you already knocked out half those anyways. Oh wait, yeah, let me check. Uh discover quests. Uh there's still stuff I can do. That's 300, 300, 300, 300. It's not a lot though. It's basically just playing Streets Ignite like a bunch of times. I mean, yeah, but that's like what, three minutes per attempt, something like that? I forget how long the actual song is. It's true. But if, if it's not enough to get blimp. you to the to the blimp, then I don't know if you'd bother. Yeah, but then I get the uh Oh the the, the super shredder guitar. I get the guitar, yeah. So and, and then you can unlock Lady Gaga. Nah, I'm alright. She didn't even look that thrilled to be here. Like when you know, look remember, at her. She didn't know what Fortnite model. was. She remember that famous tweet she made of like, what the hell's Fortnite? So did Seth or was it just Fortnite? I forget what the what that tweet was. She <laughs> oh yeah, I think it was just Fortnite. I love an announcement. I'll tell you what. I love that she actually she came back to Twitter to tweet Fortnite correctly, <laughs> and then <laughs> linked that she was in season two. Fortnite. I fixed it. All right, I'm here with full health, blue electricity. Let's see how this goes. My dog gives you her support. Oh, well. You have my support. I'm so and then she replied to Ninja, who are you? Yeah, that was the best part. 
my favorite part. Can I play Fortnite again? Damn it. Well, there goes blue. Oh boy. Ugh, come on, you were doing so clean earlier. Don't lose it now. There we go. There Much we go. Better. Puts us into the final area of the game, I do believe. At least, hopefully, it does. We've had a lot of fun here on Adam's Family Values. I'm assuming that's also the last health extension I'm going to get for the playthrough because of how how things have gone. That do. This section of the pipe is ready to burst any second. Good for it. <laughs> <laughs> Rad. And it did! Hooray! Hooray! And we are in the final area of the game. I knew you could do it. I was I was rooting for you this whole time. Oh, Kogan was apparently too. Ah, it's hot. The Professi will help. The Professi will help. Oh, fire indeed hot. <laughs> Professi will help. Professi will help. Fire indeed hot. All right, so here's the real question now. Um, oh, God. How big is this area? How big is this area? How big? Because we have is not this found area? this black egg yet. And nor the red ghost that we should be using the music box on, apparently. That's new when you get the farms worth Oh, we've had that one for a while. It is not small from the looks of the guide. Ugh. Hmm, you must be somewhere inside the mansion, but where exactly? And more to the point, which way is out? Funny that it looks like the Adams Family Mansion. Wow, that's so weird. And what's going on there? Apparently, it's not supposed to be the Adams Family Mansion. Really? I think it's. It's definitely not our house. It's definitely not our house. I thought it was just for some reason you were locked out of your own house. And you're trying to find a way back in. I accidentally left my keys in the house. That's Fester's quest. Mm. Yeah, it's supposed to be uh, Debbie Jelinski's mansion. Ah, just like the movie. I mean, this is the Adams Family Values. All right. 
Do you talk? No. Right, door number one. Nada. Nothing. Door number two, the library. And another room. There's the red ghosts, apparently. That's a heal. Looks like that was the correct way forward. Pumpkins! More corn! Gee, I don't know. After the last time... This time, we'll be different. Okay, well, I am kind of hungry. <laughs> it wasn't different at all, was it, Steve? <laughs> God, what a good bit. I need to lose 20 more pounds or I'll never be pretty. <laughs> Stop telling me to do things. Sorry, buddy. He slid out this big sigh on my desk like, shut up. I'm trying to sleep on your desk, Dad. God. Make this more about me. You won't let me outside. Now you won't let me sleep. I want you outside because it's minus 20. <laughs> Don't you to fucking okay. freeze your tail off. I think I care. I want to go outside. <laughs> I can't go outside. I can't even sleep. Man, getting five stars is actually kind of tough. In oh, in, in rock band in, mode. Yeah, in fort fort band. Fort band. Fort band. Fort band. Uh, this seems like this was a dead end. Interesting. What care have I for human temperatures? I am cat. I go where I will. Now let me outside this instant. <laughs> Do it now, father. Whoa! Where the fuck am I now? The library. That's not where I was a minute ago. It's gonna be one of these fun maps, huh? Alright. Alright. Ah, crap. I can play a song on bass. Play that fish song, funk boy. Play that fish song, boy, funk, boy. <laughs> I, I really... Play that funky fish song, bass boy. There you yeah, go. Bass boy, play it. Yeah, Barbie girl. There, we'll do that one. I prefer Fort Hero Rocks the 80s. That's what that is. That's what I'm doing right now. Oh no, wait. Aqua's definitely not 80s. Aqua's extremely not 80s. And it's very not 80s. We are what we're supposed to be. Illusions of your fantasy. <laughs> I hate how much of this song is still in my brain from MTV. Wait, is that Barbie Girl? No, that was I'm thinking of Heroes. the other. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we're... I think that one was on Sing Star. That one was also <laughs> in um shit. That one was in DDR. Ah, that explains Swim something. Come along with the snorks. Come along. I do remember that from Sing Star as well. Yeah, the snorks theme. Yeah. We are the cartoon heroes. Whoa. No. I remember how that next part goes like the second part I remember goes written down on a piece of paper 
Think of Superman, arachnophobian, or I think that might be the Spider-Man one. Welcome to the Toontown Party. And so there's like, the, I mean, the more dramatic normal version, and there's the DDR version, which is all like even somehow peppier and faster. Yeah. Although my favorite band from whatever you would call this genre, Venga Boys. Oh yeah. I they have. Want a double I, I have. We like the party on my fucking like my my <laughs> Spotify playlist. So like I'll be like, okay, here's like some alt rock. Here's like some metal. Here's some screamo, and then suddenly it's like, we like the party. We like the party. The Six Flags song, of course. God, that dancing old man. What's he up to these days? Probably dead. Well, this conversation sucks now. <laughs> Look, I'm concentrating on Aqua, okay? <laughs> and thinking about Venga Boys and the double boom. Boom, boom, to, boom, boom. I want, you, I want in you in my room. Spend the night together from now until forever. Boom, 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 boom. I want the double boom. <laughs> oh, you want to do it? Oh, shit, jeez. You want fries with that? Na, 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 na. It goes around the world and na, 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 na. I have so much brain rot from watching, like, much music. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Canadian MTV. Yeah, that's what I meant when I said MTV earlier, because I knew for Aqua, because they aired Cartoon Heroes a decent amount on there. I see that switch this time. But what did that do? Uh-oh, are we getting gold stars here? Oh my god, where am I? I'm on the roof. No, I'm on a stage. Let's say this is the roof. Kind of looks like hell. Dang. Oh, wait. Are we not done yet? Oh, okay. It is over. I do like how the song ends with Barbie or with Ken going, well, we're just getting started. And then the song is over. Well, because they're going to spend their life. Ah, fuck. They're going to spend their life together doing something. Oh, uh, yeah. Double booming. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm pretty no sure idea. that's Venga Boys. <laughs> I know it's Venga Boys. It's called a callback, John. Ah. The Six Flags guy is played by Danny Teeson. He's still alive and he's only 48. Whoa. So what was he, like 16 when he did that? I guess that he was 18. That would explain the flexibility of his dance moves. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was spry for a 70-year-old. <laughs> you know what? I'll just play it because I want to. What song? Heartbreaker. You're a heartbreaker. That one? Yeah. Don't you... Oh. That's Guitar Hero Rocks the 80s. I see all these A's, and I'm not going to get to get a single one of them, am I? E. How about this one? No. How about... This one. Yes, good. Back to full health. But, uh... Oh, there's a way out. Shit. I have no choice but to grab him. Oh, that is not the way out! <laughs> what? I... Was this room just for health? Like, I'm confused now. <laughs> Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Look, it was a great gift. Any horse would be happy to be that gift horse, but um, what do I do now? Invade Troy. <laughs> play, play the piano. I cannot. 
I must have picked the wrong doorway. I think that's what happened. I think I did actually have to go down there and find a different exit. It must be another door. It's the only possible answer at this point, so... Actually, this is a great song to do the 500 notes one for bass. It's just constant strumming. Well, so much for thinking I was going to beat this game before the break. <laughs> uh, you thought. We were making good progress, and then we got stuck in a in a boss fight because we didn't want to waste our cookies. John, did you ever play the Jackbox Rhythm game? No, I did not. It's a Jackbox Rhythm game? I have not played like any Jackbox past six, maybe seven. Oh no! What? So I have the uh. I have the uh, the the bring it in emote right now. Yeah. And so I activated it during the song, and the camera just stayed a little too long at Old Snake, just waiting for someone to bring it in. <laughs> oh my god! I hate this maze. So it's not that exit. Is there another exit? Yes, there were two more exits I could have taken. Well, the more you know. And I still picked the wrong one. Son of a bitch. Well, the more you know. Ah, uh, uh. Well, this door's yeah, going in here. I'll do re me and I can confirm it's a rhythm game designed with stream delay in mind. That sounds pretty good. Interesting. I still have more three more daily requests. Come on. Yeah, they keep giving you ones. I know. But it's not like there's a ton of songs right now. Well, I want you to buy them, that's why. Hey. Well, there's the other button. John, I respect the hell out of you, because if I were doing the teleporter maze, I absolutely would have looked up a guide or put the game down entirely in less than half the time it took you. I'm just stubborn, that's all. Stubborn to a you. fault, baby. I told you, he is fueled by spite. And poor self-control. That too. But, that's no, just part of being a game other, collector. The other was <laughs> also like chaos and boobs. Are you kidding? You put me back here? And then Dude, something about what HDMI the fuck? Meds. I'm so fucking lost. I keep making progress forward, and then I keep getting thrown backwards. So I'm missing something somewhere. So the path that worked last time was that. And then... Stairs were here. Now, what did I do in this room? Yep, yeah, I already cleared that one. I think I already did this one. Yep. This one was what? Oh wait, there's a down path. 
Definitely didn't do this. I know you're there. Come on. Come on. area at least but I didn't see any way forward in here double check for any secrets no hidden doorways I can see Hi, Yanni. Oh, you're getting up. Where are you going now? Uh-oh. Hi, buddy. Yeah, go on down and rest. Go sleep in your bed. Are you going for your chair? Okay. You do you. John, stubborn to a fault? Pfft, what about John reading the flood of Johnny Voices requests that started this stream could possibly give you that idea? Jesus. That's not stubborn. That's just me enjoying chaos. There's a difference. Did you question why I do half the shit I do? Well, I know you like chaos, too. I've known you long enough, Trey. <laughs> okay, so this Andrew, path... do you enjoy nothing. the chaos? I'm enjoying Believer by Imagine Dragons. Nice. All right, do you remember off. when your dream had a moral of the story of letting things go? Yeah. <clears throat> Never said I learned. <laughs> wow, great lesson. I wonder who that was for. <laughs> Man, Your therapist is like, for fuck's sake, dude. Cherry will not like this. <laughs> Cherry will remember this. Oh, Did I miss a switch somewhere? I have to have at this point, unless this entire path is a dead end. Then I have to play the drums. The button's still pressed in. Which puts me back here. Ah, fuck. Life would be so much less interesting without people willing to push buttons. That's where John comes in. Oh, I found my calling, finally. It's being an idiot. Really just pushing the buttons. Like that big red button right there in front of you. No matter That's right, what, where it says end stream. Not. Or where it says cookies. Yeah, you can't eat them. Uh, I'm sure you can eat them now. What? No. He's in the mansion now, so he can technically... I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is the correct move here, because, like... I already hit I switches in these two rooms, and I already know what they do if I do them, so, like... Did I just miss prior ones earlier, or back in that giant room we were in? I feel like I missed something in the giant room. So I know I've been in here. Let's go back to that giant room and see if there's anything there. Panky panky. The guide recommends keeping all the cookies for the final fight from the guide. Hopefully you haven't used any of your cookies because you're going to need every single one. Like I said, I've heard the final fight is not easy. And that's the take a break jingle. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, uh, yeah. I have done it. I've obtained the infinite wealth. Congratulations. Hey, I, I got the platinum trophy. Nice. I don't see any cupboards open that I should be adjusting. Panky panky. Are you doing aqua again? Yeah. Just can't stop. It's like aqua. four star on bait or on drums, so I'm like, all right. It's gotta have 500 notes in it. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Rambo, I'm good. Thank you, though. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out. What is the correct move? I've clearly missed a switch somewhere. That's clearly what we've done. But I don't know where. The only thing I haven't tried is going back down the stairs. Nope, that's correct. What a confusing game. <laughs> I feel like a similar notion was hit during this Flintstones game. Which was also Ocean, how weird. So weird, they're so good at licensed titles. Ever thought about replacing the Aqua song with Dr. Jones? Dr. Jones with Dr. John and tell him to wake up now. Ooh. Dr. Jones one. is a good song. I do like that one. <clears throat> Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones and, and me. Jones. Right? That song? No, not that. Not that one. <laughs> All right. This is going to warp us backwards again. No, Becky, I've already been in here. I've already done this, unfortunately. But I didn't grab that book before. As you push the book, you hear a faint click. Did it. You're so good at this video game. All right, how do I get out of here? But what did that do? <laughs> <laughs> Are they trying to do a reference to the Adams Family one movie? <laughs> Which in that case, now I think I go up to where the swords are. Oh no, I only need 600 more. Who's to get the blimp? I mean... Yeah... Fucking fine. It's pretty easy to get 600 ooze, my dude. I know, I'm doing it. I'm just... I'm doing it. That way I at least get a blimp that I'm probably like only going to use half the time and the other half is Peter Copter. <laughs> I did not do something up here. What the fuck? <laughs> Trick Joe, that bookcase did nothing. They gave me a cutscene. They had to do something. Yeah, it started a cutscene. Alright. Fine, what a quest can I do? I'm quick to the Hinden Peter! <laughs> Where do you get the money for all of these? How do you afford these things? Is dam is dealing damage to opponents while in a vehicle? Can I just run them over? Yeah. Or you can just park a uh, car and just shoot from the passenger seat. Wish I'd been able to do that when I actually was running over people. I have no idea what that bookshelf just did. Taught you about the Dewey Decimal System. Fuck. Wait, you don't like the Dewey Decimal System? 
<laughs> what? No. I'm so confused. It must have done something in a previous room. Peter Griffin was the president of a toy company for like a couple episodes. He doesn't have that. I've kind only of money pulled anymore. one book, Peggy. I'm trying to remember how I even got to the second book, and I am Isn't blanking. He doesn't he now work at the Duff Brewery or something now, or do they change Pawtucket, his job again? But yes. Oh yeah, <laughs> there was like there was like a whole thing in season three where he was just jobless for most of the season, and then I think at some point in season four, he just lands a job at Pawtucket Brewery. Well, I think for one of the episodes, he was doing <clears throat> as a fisherman. Yeah. He was in that, yeah, the SS, more powerful than Super Batman, and the Hulk combined, or whatever name his boat was. Yes. That was also a thing. And then, yeah, Glad he works in the brewery after they... Reese watches Family Guy all the time, especially, like, the few, the first few seasons, so... Some of it is very fresh in my mind. Oh, yeah, had, like, back when it was good. Uh, this is the door. And here's another bookshelf. Oh, I see the book. I gotta move now. As you push the book, you hear a faint click. Press the button? Who wouldn't? How many do I have to push? Peggy? Peggy, you seem like you know this. Peggy Hill. <sighs> Se habla espanol. Halfway there? Jesus. Maybe we should go to break. <clears throat> As you book the click, you hear a faint push. I just gotta make a wicked faint push. Oh, there's gunfire outside of my door. This neighborhood is not safe. Oh. Sounds like that one guy that actually changed his name to Captain Fantastic faster than Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, Wolverine, Hulk, and The Flash combined. I mean, that that's probably just making fun of the Family mm -hmm. Guy bit. Rolling with it. Roll with them bits. Bit is the most important thing. Alright, I was supposed to explore every room. So that's what we fucked up. And this is number three. Now we just have to find the fourth book, and then we are good to get to the final boss, question mark. Now, the problem is, where is the switch we didn't hit? Chat, what do you think? Should we take a break and then get back to it? What are you feeling? Break, 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 break. They want to break. All right. I mean, we also Ooh. didn't really fucking check the actual goddamn library. It could just be a book in here. God damn it. I just unlocked level five. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Welcome to Fortnite. It never ends. Because I decided just for fun to hit somebody while on the skateboard, and that counted. For what? The vehicle damage? Yup. Amazing. All right, so it's none of the actual books in here, which is a bit a little surprising, but I guess that makes sense. Ah, uh, yes. Sweet shield juice. See, that got me the other one. So I, I did it. I'm done. I can get the, 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 the blimp. blimp. Hey. And I got the and I got the guitar. Hey. Hey. Man, life is good. You did it. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Then... Now, you're, now you're good until the next one because they're adding Avatar: The Last Airbender to Fortnite soon. Uh, you know, I if it's hey, I'll, you're about I'll... to show that metal bending. <laughs> is that why? Yeah, that's why. 
Is that why that meme popped up? God. That's why that course. meme popped up. Of course. Ang, no! Ang, yes! <laughs> Ang, yes! <laughs> I'd be, I would be kind of shocked if they didn't give Toph as a skin. Well, I imagine they'll, I you'll probably get Ang. I assume like the, the main like four. the main three, or I guess technically four or five if you're trying to include Zuko. Probably Korra. Maybe. If she's been I, good. If no. she finished her homework. No, Korra's always been a bad girl. She's always been a really? bad girl. Really? We're bringing... I she's thought we were clear a... of it. I thought we were clear of it. Korra's always been a bad girl. At the very least, at worst, she's been a tomboy. Whoa! Plus, excuse me, kind sir. Hey, G Wolf. Yes. What's up? You know, just a normal Proton Don stream. Yeah, sorry, I got a little too focused because I found the last book, so I'm just gonna try to get myself in a position. Or at least what I assume is the position to end the game. No, Dragonborn, you are not a good kobold. This time, will this actually have something? <laughs> Am I a good toaster? Yes, yes, toaster. Will be. <laughs> Am I a good toaster? Yes, you toast my bread. Hey, so all bad. bad. Am I a good toast. toaster? Yeah, level 60. Oh, I'm going to regret going in that, aren't I? That's what I say every morning when I go into my office. I'm going to take a break here. <laughs> yes. I think this might be a good time. I think now's about time to take a little break. I'm going to go hit the live. old dusty trail. Time to hit the old dusty trail. I love your hat. All right, I get to read all these out again. Go, Kai Orange, give it up to Mommy, please spank me, 77. Oh, Whoa. Oh, 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 my dude, for take out the tr Sorry, take out the trash. Chaos set, give it up to Good girl. Go, Kai Orange, give it up to Mom. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. <clears throat> Go, Kai Orange, give it up to Mommy, please don't milk me. Mikey DCT, give it up to Go to Horny Jail, bonk. Anonymous, give it up to Who's a good boy? DB Koopa, give this up to Kinky Furry Uwu. And Captain Joe, give this up to Toxic X Eternity. <laughs> one of those was normal. <laughs> Which one do you think will not survive this episode? What kind of stream was this today? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, Burdette9589 for 89, Soda Pop Barbecue for 53, Hex Nexus Dan for 75, Scruff Ker Fluff for 73, Shadow Howl 69 for 44, and Maniacal Gamer for a big old hundo, and 8 for 35. Alongside Devil Kitty 1 for 80, and Chaos Agents for 58. The fuck did I walk into? Yeah. And Green Power Star gave today's sub to Y'all are down bad. <laughs> Bitch, you're one to fucking talk. <laughs> It's Go to break. 6 oh. p.m. and already the boy's down bad. Thanks for stopping and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the Shuffler. You will give me a bowl! I got a bowl! Good for me! Aw, oh, good I one! <laughs> I got a bowl! Good for me! Go to break. When we come back, we're going to finish the game. We're also going to pop into our block. See you guys in a bit. Green, you know what that means. <laughs> oh, day. you know. You know. <laughs> you fucking my penis. Know. Let's just say, haha, -ha, it's my peanuts. Ha <laughs> ha, body in a wood chipper. Ha ha ha! 
Actually, make them raisinets. <laughs> Again, Stephen Colbert. Eh. Uh, what's going on here? Ooh. Stream is a mystery box. You never know what you can get. You could even get a boat. You know how much we want one of those. Well, let's just let's just take the. I'll get the boat. I'll get the, whatever you said. I don't care. I'll get. I'll All take right. the box. I'll take the. I'll take the shield potion. Oh yeah. Give me that. Chat, how you doing? Scared of us yet? I am. Ha ha ha! Dangly parts. Why are they scared of me? I've never been scared in my life. Bull fucking shit. Girl, I met you in person. Bull fucking shit. <laughs> Got him. Y'all made me start voice training for a mommy voice. Oh my god. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Up in here. Music make you lose control. Y'all gonna make, make, me make me lose, lose control. Cool. Up in here, up in here. Y'all gonna make me act a fool. Up in here, up in here. I don't remember the fourth one. Yeah, uh, yeah something, something. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> orf, orf. Yeah, yeah. Orf, orf. Yeah. X gonna give it to you. Oh, oh make I'm me go all out. You're making me want to put that on my fucking Spotify playlist. First we let it rock, then we let it roll. Oh, hey, it's the weekend. Y'all let it go. X gonna give it to you. He gonna yeah, give it to you. He gonna give it to you. X gonna give it to you. Yep. No, Mr. Silverman, I've still not listened to the new album. I haven't been listening to too much music lately. What have I been listening to lately? Let's find out. Oh, Austrian Death Machine's new album. Panic at the Disco. 21 Pilots. Pendulum. The Prodigy. I got really obsessed with Fat of the Land for some reason. I've been listening to that nonstop while driving. Some of the new Justice music I've listened to. Generator's pretty good. Some synthwave stuff. Come on. The Burnout 3 and Burnout Revenge soundtracks, apparently. Alright, nice. Woo! Have I seen the Simpsons parody of Mario Kart? Yes, it really bought the lip syncing at the end really bothers me. <laughs> Wait, what? Where, yeah, did you see the Mario Kart? couch gag they did for, like, yesterday's no. episode? Oh. I did not know about this. John, you said panic at the disco and I could physically hear you grow 20% wider. That's Jeez. Inc that's impressive for someone who is basically albino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a couch yeah. gag part of the episode. Panic at the disco. It's all starting to come together. to have high, high hopes for a living. Shooting for the stars when I couldn't make a killing. Didn't have a dime, but I always had a vision. Always had high, high hopes. <laughs> Fucking went into a gas station looking for windshield wash, and that song came on the radio, and I've not been able to get out of my head since. I had <laughs> forgotten about that song. Oh, shoot. I gotta go. God, I'm trying to remember the beginning... Hard. Like I think it was like the first song that got them popular. All I remember, all, mean, all I remember the, the is just one it, the. Why well, haven't you ever heard of closing a goddamn door? Is that the one? Yeah. Yeah. I'm no. damn what I haven't you people ever heard of? I'm closing a goddamn, goddamn door. My favorite was that I think one of the radio edits was they would uh, silence the word God but keep the word damn in. And I was just kind of like, that's an odd choice to make. Yeah. Oh, well imagine, as I'm pacing the pews in a church corridor, and I can't help but to hear, no, I can't help no, but to hear an exchanging, hear of words. exchanging of words. What a beautiful okay. wedding. What a beautiful what a wedding. Beautiful wedding. This is a bridesmaid to a oh, waiter. That's the line? Oh. 
And yes, but what a shame. What a shame the poor's groom's bride is a whore. Is a whore. <laughs> Record scratch. I chomped in with a haven't you been my life I heard no. Close Spotify before I... Because it's five in the afternoon. Oh, no, stop it, man. I'm trying to get Austrian Death Machine back That's in That's Rock head. Band too. Oh, my God. That's why that one's in my head so much. It was a float yeah, on my modest mouse. Do you do? Feeling this so good ain't a just scene, the way that we it's do. It's a goddamn arms race. This ain't a scene. Isn't that Follow Boy? Yep. It just fell into that. I, I, I get those two confused constantly for some weird reason. So. Oh, it, it doesn't help that there's a band called The Cab, and they have a song that uh, has both of those singers. So it has uh, oh Brandon Yuri from uh, Panic at the Disco, and then it has What's His Face from um, uh, I almost said Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know. <laughs> Fallout Boy. <laughs> Fallout Boy. Yeah, and I was like, I was playing the song for the very first time. I was like, all of these people sound so familiar, but they also all sound the same. Jesus. Patrick okay. Stump, I see in chat. Yeah. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got by That is neither of those people. That's Super Tramp. Evil J. Brian says, Megalo Marco Boom. Did I even run ads now that I think about it? I did. Okay. Whoops. I did. Don't worry. I did my job. Clay Dog says, just celebrating my daughter's birthday today, which brought me some happy tears and hope I'll see her again uh, in school holidays. Happy birthday to your daughter, Clay Dogs. Fuck yeah. Hopefully she had a good one. Hopefully you're doing all right yourself. Seesaw24 says, hey, John, just want to get this in before midnight your time, but today is my birthday. It's been mostly good. Just relaxed a bit and participated in a bowling league with some relatives. Hope the game's been treating you well. Well? Question mark. Happy, well, I guess now belated birthday, dude. Hopefully it was a good one. Sounds like it was. Bowling league, dang. I could go for some bowling. But five pin, I, I... Or actually, wait, no. Yeah, no, five pin. I miss five pin bowling. A five pin bowling? Yeah. It's where you, like, the balls are more like... They're more like handful ones, and you can huck them down the fucking lane. Huh. Just hucking them. Just hucking them balls. Sly, he's just hawking them balls down the lane. All right, let's go to our block. Okay. Card queens from Spont Combust. Thanks, John, for getting me to consider purchasing Pocket Card Jockey. I'm sure my wallet appreciates it. <laughs> But with a horsey game being played, I want to do something with everyone's favorite question mark. Horse girls, super thunderclaps, and my balls. So I decided to give them some playing card inspired outfits. Insert closing here, which when I think of something better. Thanks, Spot. Outfits are cute. Very nicely done. Thank you for horse and thank you for playing pocket card jockey, because I love that game. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Waluigi, mm -hmm. why? When I was a young boy, my father took me <laughs> to the city to see a marching band. He said, when I was a young boy, infinite <laughs> recursion ensues. Dad, is this why mom left? <laughs> Damn. Sorry, I saw it on the screen. I had to do it. But I do actually owe a Wisdom of Duke to destroy a 93. Here you go, destroy. <laughs> you wanna dance? Oh, yeah. Love that one. Uh, man, they have a little turtle van, too. Wait, where was the turtle van? It's it's a traversal in the shop now. Oh motherfucker! Just go during break. Chat doesn't we have to We just know. had break. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Sorry, I was too busy playing Fortnite. <laughs> Kitty Roko, pretty sure I was late putting this up, but hey, when sleep calls, this is part of the piece I made for Draw Pile. But then I decided I wanted to keep working on it, so here we are. And yes, my boyfriend lost his mind over the vintage shoes that look like sneaker heels. Oh, those are neat. Heck yeah. All the different foods. The menu is on the apron. Makes it easier. Thank you, Kitty. 
Next up, Proton John, Bagel, Rosalina, Cow, Reese, Waluigi, Boobs, Ninja, Michelangelo, Captain Falcon, Speed Racer, Horny, and Thirsty. That's an interesting set of connections. From Storm, yeah, I got sucked into this rabbit hole just a little bit, but I did manage to find a number of things to do with this community. No, there isn't anything for Duke Nukem or Ryu or Ninja Gaiden, but I think I did pretty well, pretty darn well in getting a large amount of this community. Also, damn, I forgot I had Robocop too, but oh well, can't change it now. There, I just gave it to you. Did you actually? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Thanks, dude. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Storm, for that as well. Uh, what are you, what are you wearing? I don't know. You ever just wake <laughs> up one day know. and everything turns white? Don't take that out of context, please. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Okay. I wasn't going to until you said that. Thanks, nerd. Next up, from Grease Lightning, Mistia, uh, yeah, Mistia's Izakaya was played, and it only occurred to me to post this rad image from an official Toho novel symposium of post-mysticism. Mistia and Kyoko made a punk rock band as a way to relieve stress. They made it into the new paper, newspaper ever since they rock out in the middle of the night. The actual section in question is there, too. I love the energy in the of her just jamming. Just fucking going. That looks, that's great. Hell yeah. Thanks, Grease. Next up, oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Hi, yeah, hi, I need to rewrite my entire goddamn comment because my connection hecking sucks. The full reference is on Blue Sky, but it doesn't look the best of quality. Here's the Blue Sky link. Discord render, no, it doesn't go to a server. God damn it, now I have to rewrite how gay I am for Deandra. I'm so mad, fuck. <laughs> Anyways. By sexual freak out aside, I got a sudden wave of inspiration out of nowhere and decided to make Deandra an outfit. And I'm totally not normal and I'm not going to be a coward and say I am. D is now officially a muse of mine whenever I want to make random pretty outfits. Shaking my head, why does being gay have to be so fucking complicated? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to be thinking about how I can do a Kimberly song. Why does being gay just have to be so John complicated? John, you calling the chat a good girl did not help my crisis. I am sorry, Skylar. I'm so sorry, but this looks fucking amazing. This is such a good look for D. Holy shit. God damn, those fucking flower wings are wild. Good shit. Thank you so much, Skylar. No, you aren't? Bitch, you're right. Fuck. Yeah, I, you're right. I, I had actually had to fight myself back from not just saying the fucking good girl thing again. I had, there was a moment where I'm just like, let's just, no, let's not. Let's just all be good girls. <laughs> what a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to Crip, I will. Coward, do what you won't do, coward, I miss it. You fucking, you enabling motherfuckers. You've learned too much from me. <clears throat> Skylar, sweetie, you're such a good girl. Thank you for the lovely art. Don't listen to the people who support you, no. <laughs> And she just types duck and then says fuck right after. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, Skylar. The art is beautiful. Speed of gorgeous art. We've got this piece here from Camille. Posted by Mooch. Hmm, you'd think after so long I have a way for organizing my things better. Oh well, I just feel like this all just suits me anyways. John Reel at home and enjoying her evening done so wonderfully by Camille. So many awesome details and things they place in the home, too, from John Reel's adventuring days and life. Like, seriously, this is probably the best interpretation of John Reel at home, I think. Thank you again for your amazing work. Yes, y'all should root for me and Aelita this Sunday on Arcade Pit. Ooh, good luck on the pit. Ooh. God, it's been so long since I've done Arcade Pit. It's fun. It is fun. Let me see what we got here. We got the pin board with a bunch of stuff on it here. We got a little bagel plushie. We got the CRT. We got some game consoles hooked up. We got a little Star Luma bag uh, plush, or Star Bagel, or Bagel Luma plush, there we go. We got Mooch the Little Rabbits. We got some Busters, we got some cloaks, that's the uh, some jackets, Robber Cop. We got some swords, some magic wands. We got whips, we got Castlevania, we got Castlevania, we got egg. <laughs> we got video games, we got Mooch, we got a GameCube. We got feet. We got Camille's signature. This uh, is really nicely done, Camille. Very feet. nicely done on this. What'd you say? Last time I checked, I got feet. Remember to check your feet. Very important. Thank you, Mooch. Very important. And thank you, Camille. 
Next up. <laughs> but Dad, why can't I go outside? Why do you think? Ugh, you're so lame. I know. Mom, can I go outside? What did your dad say? He said <laughs> no. So what do you think I'll say? No. That's right. Fifty Shades of Nay from Pluto. I know you and Reese decided to not have kids, but Bagel is like the equivalent of three to five kids depending on the day. So at this point, you might as well open a daycare. At the very least, I'm glad he's with you more so we can see him causing chaos on stream more. Yeah, never a shortage around here. Uh-oh. Hi. Why are you awake? I thought you were sleeping. said my name. Hi. Go back Father. To sleep. I love you. Go back to sleep. My anal glands. <laughs> no, don't ever ward it like that again. Express them. <laughs> I hate this. Pluto, no! Huh? Oh, sorry. Force of habit. I meant... Uh, Gwen, no! What? Oh, wrong person again. I meant green, no! Me? Damn it. Hold on. Maniac! Ah, oh, forget it. <coughs> From Pluto. I love how you scroll through the trans girls like we're a menu option you have to swap through to get to the person you're actually yelling at. Because I've yelled at all of you at this point. <laughs> That's why. You're, I'm literally building up a fucking muscle memory. I uh, like how you're saying all the T-girls, and then you put Maniacal in there. I assume Maniacal is what I actually meant to yell at. I'm not saying you're basically a mom, but my mom does this exact thing with me and my siblings, just stumbling over our names, completely... Hi, Bagel. Completely unable to <laughs> yell at us properly until she finds who she's targeting on the drop-down menu in her brain. Hi, buddy. <laughs> I don't, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think that qualifies me to be a mother. At this point, bagel's the thing that qualifies me to be a mother. Right, buddy? Uh, thank you, Pluto. I'll yell the cat's name at my son sometimes. Oh my god. I think I've seen my sister do that with the dogs to her nephews, to, or to her <laughs> kids, too. Rosa! Sorry, the strength. The eighth card, the strength, foregoing the idea of prying a lion's mouth open, I instead bring you a long, concerned lion. Lions are just big cats that lay around all day and are cute. The strength, while displaying physical strength, is a uh, signifi blah, blah, blah. signifier, I don't know why that took so long to say, of emotional and willful power more so. To have strength means that you have a heart that is near unshakable, indestructible, and is good. And apparently Rosa can lift up a lion, so I, she's a lot stronger than I realized. <laughs> God dang. Strong. Very strong. Very strong. I like how Bega Luma's hiding to stay away from the lion. Very <laughs> cute. Thank you, Grease. You unironically have qualifications of a supportive mother. You're, the statements write themselves, my dude. Oh, my God. Like... Oh, that was, I think I was targeted towards someone else. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, no. There's, there's a tag on me. Never mind. They did mean... They did mean me. Shit. <laughs> Shit. You're Fortnite Den Mom. God, I God, I am. I'm the one who always reminds you fuckers that the storm's coming. <laughs> oh God, I am the mom of See, the group. Oh no. I think my favorite thing is that because I've had enough time playing solo, I've actually gotten kind of like okay at the game. But as soon as we are in a group together, especially with Masse in the group, we're just two dumb siblings. Oh my God. Look, John, just because you're a better mom than 90% of all of our actual moms, Jesus! <laughs> wow. From Pantero, I made sound investments. I invented cool stuff. I started a movie. I got a rack. <laughs> <laughs> a group of millionaires meeting their newest member. I imagine a scenario where post 2.9 million, John meets some millionaires who discussed how they got their fortune, and then I remember this Charlie Brown scene. Jesus Christ. Thanks, Pantero. Wow, why is John calling us good, making my heart flutter? And Pluto in the background shocked. <laughs> good lord, y'all are horny tonight. Like, even I'm sitting here slack jaw at y'all. This is actually insane. Also, John, why is your entire chat made out of bottoms? Like, what's the odds? I'm literally so flabbergasted, appalled, astonished, utterly bamboozled. What is with chat tonight? Valentine's Day was like two weeks ago. What's with the delayed horny? Good thing I'm immune, because I'm so normal compared to chat. Uh-huh. Yeah, really. Uh, uh, man, chat's so horny tonight. I practically look like a, like a like someone who's not horny. Uh-huh. Yeah. No. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Also, I know there's some people that definitely are, like, not 
like flinching at it at all, so don't worry. But I don't fucking believe you, Pluto. <laughs> Oh, and now I can't reach that because Bagel's stretching. Hi, buddy. <laughs> huh, where do you know Chad is being tonight? Guess I'll go shower real fast. Do a chat, da a chatty voice. Do we even have that? And then leans right back <laughs> in. Sorry for so many posts tonight, but chat won't stop giving me ammunition. Anyways, daddy issues. Not here at Tim Pluto's producer productions company. Nope, not at all. Nope, nope, not at all. Maybe a little, a lot. Source, who said daddy issues? Not me, no siree, not here, none here. Just a strong appreciation for DILFs. If you're a DILF, please hug me and tell me how proud you are of me. I'll be so normal about it. Jeez. I'm so proud of you. Jesus Christ. See, that, see, that was a dad is, voice. That was a dad voice. That is a cry for help. <laughs> and the last one I have here from Mika. Oh, did you actually combine us? You totally did. Here's a fusion of you and Masay since you became her after defeating the tree boss. I like... I like the little bagel as a replacement for the Pikachu in the hair. That's super cute. Mister, you sit in my hair all the time, don't you? Do it again for the ones in the back. <laughs> <laughs> this is super nice, Mika. Thank you so much. That's Art Block. But I did get reminded of something, so give me a second here. I don't think I actually ever showed this. I think I put it as a response on Twitter to, to Fushi's post. Oh, Andrew, why? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What'd you do? I forgot I posted them. Yeah, go check VIP. Oh, God, what did you do? It's it's two pictures, by Oh, it's the, the propaganda. Gotta, gotta it's the propaganda. Yeah. I've seen that. that yeah. Was good. It's a good one. All right, I didn't show this picture, but I just love this one. This was, like, yesterday, two days ago. Uh, <laughs> Bagel has a habit of jumping on my back when I'm getting ready for bed. Oh, no. But somehow I got the perfect picture of him just, like, looking fucking, like, horrified. <laughs> Here, let me, let me just... Father. Just, just look at that fucking look he's got going on there. Like, what the fuck is going on down there? I'm gonna fuck some shit up. Father. The anal glands. <laughs> Please stop saying the anal glands. Anal glands. Man, John, how do you style your hair like that? It even looks a bit like the real bagel. It's just, it's just <laughs> styling, styling products. So yeah, so I have, I have had to learn how to like wash my face and brush my teeth with a cat balanced on my back, because he will lie on my back and start headbutting the back of my head. It's cute, Aww, but it does make so things cute. very difficult when trying to get ready for that bed. So cute. I'm gonna get a passport just so I can pet this cat. You really should come up and visit sometime. I will. Because I Good. if anything I need a passport. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's beat this damn game, shall we? Alright. Hey, I'm yeah. actually gonna head out. That's, I just wanted to hang out for fair. art chat. Uh thank you for having me on though. I know it's been a while, so but no worries, I, dude. I had fun. As always. And I will one day get all the things that I intend to actually get in Fortnite. I, the only reason why I wanted the backpack is because I knew that it was something I could have bought in the store, and I chose not to. And so I was like, well, now I can get it for free, but I don't want to spend the next five hours trying to get it. I respect my own hustle, but I have work in the morning. Nope. Anyway, good night. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, good night. Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing, my favorite time of day is when I just pass out and forget about the day. <laughs> just, just let you guys stew and marinate on that one for a little bit. Oh good night, y'all. Later, dude. All right, we got someone else hopping in, and they're already in. What the fuck is going on tonight? Motherfucker, <laughs> I have no freaking clue. This oh my god. Shit is wild. Never a dull moment around here, my dude. Never a fucking dull moment. <laughs> it's hey. a dull moment. How the fuck do I get out of this room? How long has it been? What, well, since I've been here with the. It wasn't that long ago. That was only like a couple months ago. Even. Yeah. 
Wasn't it? Weren't you the one who started the whole oo o u rar? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yeah, well, we don't talk about that. <laughs> no, no, by all means. By all means, talk about it. Revel in it, what you've, what you've caused. Please take away from everything that's been painted at me today. <laughs> fair, fair. What I do? I did it as Vegeta, didn't I? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, Deef. What, what did Deef add? Stop saying the anal glands. Oh. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, Cole was here. That's right. I remember now. Yeah, it's we're all playing Bubble Bobble of all things. Yeah. <coughs> now, let's see if we can find this damn bot. So, like, is this the last corridor I need to worry about, or what? Ah! Uh, oh, hello! Faster! That's an angry spider. I thought it's in the last of you! What you seek is not here. Turn back now. That means it's here. That definitely Return means the here. slab or suffer my curse. God, that episode scared the shit out of me as a kid. King Ramses. The man of grass. The man of grass. The man of grass. The man in gauze, isn't it? I have no idea what it said. The man in gauze. The man in gauze. King Ramses. Not you again. I never meant any harm, Fester. Please forgive me. This is another trick, isn't it? No, let me help you. Please take this egg. This egg can be thrown at her who waits behind that door. Throw this and rescue the child. They will give you an egg. So what is actually touching this do? Never mind, nothing. The egg, take the egg. Dang forced cutscenes. What does the egg actually do? Hey, buddy. Good job using litter box, buddy. You take half damage of your current health. Ugh. Ugh. Someone said button? I didn't see a button. Oh, there is a button. Never mind. Hi, yes, I know. You are a cat. Oh, God, there she is. Oh, yeah, I guess I have to take over from this now. Father. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I must knock over everything on your desk. This Bomberman's toy must not stand. Hi. Mister, I gotta go fight the final boss of the game now. <laughs> Hello, my darling Fester. It distresses me to see you all in one piece. No worries, we'll soon sort that out. Boys, show our Mr. Fester our hospitality. Ah! Oh my word. I do remember seeing this on Nintendo Power. Is, sorry, so for reference for those who know, is this the final boss? Should I go all out? Hi, Mr. John, new idea for an emote. It's Bagel, but it's menacing, and it's Proton Father. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'd love that. Don't knock over my stuff. But, Father, I must. <laughs> oh, he's got a homing shot? Are you kidding me? Okay. I did. Are we at the boss now? You're at a boss. I don't know if it is the boss. Ooh. Someone said maybe don't go all out now, which that gives me the the hint that there might be more to this. 
My real question is, if I die, how far back am I sent? <laughs> oh no. Fear unlocked. Far, oof. boss. He's a devil. Eh. I'm gonna have to eat a cookie. We're gonna try. We're gonna try actually staying in this. Eat. Consume. Now let's try the dragon belch. That what? That's all it does? Oh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh no! That's lame. Fucking lame. I'm gonna guess if that hit it did a lot of damage though. Uh, oh. oh! I guess they did say boys. I mean, say what you will, this form seems way easier. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say He's shit. Oh! Oh. Always a catch. Always a fucking catch. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Why? Oh no. Seriously, why a good idea to just make your attack shorter? Like I said, there's this game has some stupid decisions in it. Cookie. Yum. <laughs> the 
fucking little like eating animation he does. <laughs> Minecraft <Come>. eating sound. <laughs> Ah. It was working, not moving. It had been some <laughs> pattern. Now they're fucking doing a lot of damage. Yay! How badly did we fuck up? Fester, I, uh, I'm sorry. Please, you must understand. Dad, dad. I forgot he had a little mustache. Hubert! Father. <laughs> Gaga. Walking backwards, walking backwards. Fat baby! Fat baby! Fat baby! <laughs> Wahoo! Oh, is th that GG's? Oh my god, are we done? I think that's GG's. Oh, Fester, how can I ever thank you for rescuing my little devil? Indeed, Festa. Thank you for saving our little ray of darkness. I can't wait to get him home and give him some of my wholesome beaver breath soup. Mm. Mm. Yes, Lurch, you can. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Manna's thing. Tap, tap. That's better. Now everybody say... Awful, and don't forget the frown. Doop 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 doop. Family photo. Congratulations, you've completed Adam's family values. We did it. Yay Hooray! For us. Yay, we did it. We There's did it. There's not even any music. Hooray. There's been no music since we killed that boss and left the room. <laughs> Because we're all dead inside. You didn't have to get that real G. We got credits, baby. We're done. I just like the gong. <laughs> I can definitely see why the guides recommend hanging on to your cookies, because Jesus. Yeah, right? Not having any healing items for that would have been miserable. No, Maniacal, you don't get any more game choices, ever. Mister, don't jump over there. Mister? Bagel. Come back here. But I must. I've grabbed your butt. Get your butt back here. Let no, that is fire. my butt. Unhand my butt. Turn around. Why is Wednesday ugly? She's a video game character. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mister. Plus, I, I think also technically she's also supposed to be I, like... Yeah, they're not all based off the, the actual actors and actresses. Like, I doubt they got Christina Ricci's like, likeness. Hi, buddy. Hi, mister. Oh, hi. Yeah, you just want attention, don't you? Despite the fact that I'd be normally getting ready for bed around this time. Maybe. Is that... Yeah, so it was like, so what now? So this call is... Call it thing. early? No, I'm not gonna call it early. Um... And it's... Holy shit, I had to really crank this fucking volume to get the music playing there. I might, uh, dun, 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 dun. I might just vibe for a little bit. Uh, I've been playing Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I might play that a little bit on stream if people want that. Or I can just do more pocket card jockey. But I like, I always figured like I was gonna mix it up and actually play you know, something different for once. Start the next game for game clearing. I'm not sure what I want to do for game clearing. If I'm... Really, I turn up the volume, then the, the music fucking ended. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you can. We can go for the rematch and connect four. Really? Yeah. Oh, I figured you shoot it down. I just I've been like, wanting to put it out there. 
I've been neck deep in Balatro. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. Everyone's been going about else. Balatro. I'm going to play it at some point. Dan even gifted it to me. That's how he into it he is. Damn. Yeah. I knew so Dan good. was into it. Oh, I what the fuck is this house? Hello. This is horrifying. It's is, is this the mansion we just kind of opened up? Was it the ocean mansion the entire time? <laughs> You're gonna die, clown. <laughs> I thought the same <laughs> fucking thing, Puppet Master. <laughs> Boy, that sure is a way to end your video game. <laughs> Thanks, Ocean. <laughs> Another it's quality stay product. Here. <laughs> Smash or pass the house from Adam's family values. I'm sure That's Cole it. would say smash. That's where the game was made. There were no survivors. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> buddy. Well, that's another one from a childhood done. Nice. Good to see that. I'm going to mark that off as a complete. I remember no, I seeing this game in magazines and such, but never played it myself. One of my friends owned it, so I used to borrow it all off him all the time. I thought I got reasonably far in the game. Based on how these three streams have gone, I think I maybe got... Maybe got to, like, the beginning of stream two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. You're just making me want to get payback at some of the... Some games I didn't beat when I was a kid, but I'm also kind of like... Man, I don't know if I can put myself through the, the gauntlet of some of these games. Dude, trust me. You want to hear a list? I've read this out before. You want to read a list of uh, the games I have marked off as revenge from childhood? <laughs> yeah, go for it. I know you've gone through it before. Let's hear it again, though. All right. Um, Double Dragon for the Game Boy. Double Dragon for the NES. The Adventures of Batman and Robin for the Genesis. Bubsy 1 for the Super Nintendo. Chuck Rock for the Super Nintendo. Dragon's Lair for the Super Nintendo. Final Fight 1 for the Super Nintendo. Jurassic Park 2 oh, The Chaos yeah. Continues Final for Fight. Super Nintendo. Krusty Super Fun House for the Super Nintendo. Mickey Mania for the Super Nintendo. Ren and Stimpy Fire Dogs for the Super Nintendo. Roadrunner Death Valley Rally for the Super Nintendo. Spider-Man and X-Men Arcade's Revenge for the Super Nintendo. Super Return of the Jedi. Actually, no, we did that one, so I can actually take that one off now. Uh, Lethal Weapon for the Super Nintendo. Gold Go 13, top secret top secret episode for the NES. I can take Nightmare on Elm Street off of there. Uh, Sim the Simpsons, Bart vs. the Space Mutants for the NES. Tailspin for the Game Gear. That's a stream revenge. And that's what I have written down for revenge games. I'm sure I'll remember you know more what? along the way. But Let me let me go through... Let me look through my Super Nintendo games real quick and see which ones I would have to get revenge on. Okay. Disney's The Jungle Book. I gotta get revenge on that one. Why First Final, Final Fight? Yeah, why Final Fight 1? Uh, Final Fight 1 because the SNES version takes out a stage and instead makes one of the stages twice as long, and you have to fight Abigail, I believe, at the end of that stage. And as yes. a kid, I never managed to do that. Because if you lost to Abigail or anyone at the end, you have to start at the very beginning of that same stage. Now, that stage apparently has a bunch of hidden shit in it, where if you, like, stand in a very specific spot and punch or stand around where a dog is in the background, you get, like, healed up, you get extra lives and a bunch of other shit. Oh. But I didn't know about that until I watched Late Night Retro play through it. What else would the I first. Still need to... Oh, yeah, Ren and, Ren and Stimpy show Vidiots. Oh, man, there's always a Ren and Stimpy I... game. I can never get. Oh, I think sorry. it was like the first episode of the game, technically, because I think it was just based off. I forget the exact episode, but I guess like Stimpy. Oh yeah, Stimpy was like the cat, and Ren was the mouse. And of course, he Stimpy ends up eating Ren. And you're doing an entire stage <laughs> inside his mouth. I remember you go inside beat a boss, but then you have to make your way back out of his mouth before he completely closes down. The problem is, he has a couple of... He now has a couple of spots in his mouth where it's just now raw, and if you fall on that, that's basically an instant death. Ooh. Yeah, and I that, never that got past that like it. That sounds like that fucking game. 
the first thing that comes to mind when it came to like thinking of revenge games for me would be Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Oh, that's another one, dude. I gotta beat that one. <laughs> yeah, oh, that game destroyed me. <laughs> oh, here's another one I need to get. I can also try Tunnel Carnage. Yeah, I guess I've never actually like legitimately beat Smash TV. Just the arcade version. Actually, also, as someone who has beaten Chuck Rock, you need to go kick that game's ass. All right, like. It, you just... <laughs> Oh yeah, here's a, also a game I would need to get revenge on, but it's also kind of a pain in the ass. It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Which one? The first one. Oh, the NES one? Yeah. The one done by, like, U Ultra or wh whatever their name was back then. Which, was, I guess, was just a subsidiary, a subsidiary of Konami. Yep. But I only got to the third... I can only get to up to the third stage. Oh, the third stage is not even that hard, dude. Well, this was also years and years ago. Fair enough. And that was kind of when, like, okay, this isn't, like, a simple side-scroller. That's a much bigger map. Also, technically, at least... Most of the NES Mario games... Mostly because I always keep trying to, like... Do the... The action... I guess the skill one and actually go through all the worlds. And then I just get caught up with something else. There's a Game Boy Advance game I know. Oh yeah, Lego Bionicle. There you go. That there's a childhood game right there. At the peak of the Bionicle popularity. World 3. Yeah, I only started playing it, like, last night. So I'm not very far. Good so far? You play the Game I Boy also... Advance version? I have not, no. Ah, okay. I love Donkey Kong 94. It is one yes. of, if not, my favorite Game Boy game. Yes, I, easy. I was not as big a fan of Mario vs. Donkey Kong when it came out. Uh, hmm. It felt a bit... Uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for here? Aesthetically weird? Like yeah. They, they okay. put like a weird focus on it, and the, on the graphics. Yeah, it was like a... 3D-int. <laughs> like they tried, like there was all like 3D rendered sprites and shit. It was a little awkward to get used to. And, like, the music sounded so weird. I don't know, like, I'm, I feel like I'm more bitching than anything, but, like, that's just how much I loved DK94. Hmm. Um. I wouldn't say it's a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. Are you coming back up or do you stop? But, um. The only issue I've had with this one so far is that sometimes it's weird to do the, the backflip. It seems mm. like it, sometimes it keeps locking in the wrong direction. I don't do the jump right. But, like, it controls really fluidly. Um, if you liked Donkey Kong 94's controls, it's that again. Because this was the actual sequel to it. Uh, yeah, sounds like I'm going to enjoy this then. Yeah, honestly. If you like that, then you're going you're gonna to dig it. Oh, yeah. The only thing that's different is, and we should actually see it here in a minute, if this was 3-6. You going, buddy? Okay, go get some rest. <clears throat> Once you get the six mini Marios... I'm guessing you prefer the visuals in this version? Yeah, I think the visuals are cleaner in this one. Here, I'll, I'll show the visuals as a comparison here in a minute because I realize I'm kind of like talking about it, not actually showing it. But let me do this one up minigame first. Ooh, that's going to be interesting to do. Here we go. Yep. Yahoo. 
So I assume this is uh, Mario Wonders uh, voice actor for Mario? I can't tell. I think so. Hmm. I think so, based on some of them. It sounds a little higher pitched than Martin A. Mm. Oh, someone's saying they didn't redo the lines. I don't know. It is Martin A. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so once you do six stages of normal platforming, they you have to do a mini march yeah. stage. Yeah. Oh. It's not reused clips. Original clips in high def. All right, so these guys, you gotta lead through. They can't climb ladders, but you gotta get them to that toy box. But you also gotta spell the word toy. They can oh. use springboards, like but they cannot use ladders. I don't I feel like this is something from the newer, like, when they, they made the mini This, more this was thing. in the original Mario vs. Donkey Kong. This is not a new addition. Okay. Ooh. In the go. Now, the catch with these guys is too is A, you're trying to get perfect ranks, because I assume it's been a while since I played the GBA one. These unlock, these give you extra stars, and the stars unlock extra stages. Because I remember there's some difficult stages you can play after you beat in the game. But uh, also, for the boss fight with DK for each world, they are your health bar. Oh. Look how pissed he is. Angie. Angie Kong. Ooh, that was a little too close, John. Go back. I want to be monkey. Shit. Now he's super angry. Oh no. Thought I was out of range of that. Should have just been doing that the whole time. Oh fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, oh my no. god. How'd you do that? Very carefully. Precision like none other. Now I gotta replay that fight, unfortunately. Cause you oh, because you can't lose a mini. Yep. No. Oh, yeah. Here, I think at this, I think I gotta hop off now for the night. All right, take it easy, dude. Thanks for being on. Thanks for having me on. So long. It was a blast. Later. Later. Oh. God, I remember these fights being way harder for some reason. Yo, dude, the World 2 fight is a piece of shit. Um, I'll show that in a second here. Because, like, I got fucking... It was such a pain in the ass to hit him in the second fight. And then suddenly, when I had to redo it, because I got hit a bunch, I basically did it perfect. It was, it was freaking comical. Dude. One thing I feel like they changed from the original, and I don't know if it's just me, like, Mandela affecting myself or what, but, like, you can walk through things you can pick up, and normally you couldn't do that. Like, they're solid items. Motherfucker, I fell for it again. Ah! He does that so <laughs> fast! Wait, what if I just do this? Will you take the bait? No. Crap. Ah. Yeah, that's what I'm commenting on. Like, you can pick stuff up from the side, and you could never do that. You had to stand on the specific items. Ooh, you motherfucker. Ooh. Yeah, you couldn't pick up from the side on the 94 version. No, 
And not in the original either, from what I remember of this. But it also has been a long time since I played the original of DK of Marvel's Donkey Kong, so I don't know if that's just I'm, I'm not sure on that or what. Yeah, is there full damage in this one? Hmm. Is there full uh, I don't damage? Know. I, haven't in run in, I haven't fallen far enough to get fall damage. So I'm actually not sure on that. And I noticed how we only had four hit points going in there, but that, because we just didn't get hit, it still gives the perfect. Hmm. I fell as far as hell in one level and didn't die. Huh, I guess there is not any then. Now look at look at how this fucking fight goes. Oh, it's yep. like this. Oh yeah, the no! Drop fruit down on his head. Now watch, watch his movements. Seems pretty straightforward for now, right? Just fast. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! oh Notice God. how he just randomly changes directions out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that works. It's not a perfect, but. The first time I played him in this version, he was changing so much, I, I think I dropped like 50 fruit before I actually got like the final fucking hit on him. Oh my god. Because I couldn't tell what the actual tell was for how he was going to move, other than he just moved really fast, and like the fruit spawns in random spots and stuff like that. Everything else is like fairly straightforward. Hmm. Oh yeah, I was going to show people, like here, let me show you... Here's the opening video for the game. Mmm, banana. Mmm, bananas. Mm. Why does he want mini Mario's? Because <laughs> the TV told him to. Oh. Dang. When advertising does it right. The Mario Toy Company. <laughs> FOMO, yeah. <laughs> so that's the game's intro. And then, um... This is the starting cutscene when you start the game. <laughs> Just walking. That's me, Mario. Just walking. You're That's stealing my capitalism! He stole it in a DK branded bag, which he found in the factory. Very convenient. <laughs> Here is the actual GBA version, the original version from like, I think 2004, 2003, somewhere in that range. Yeah, I don't see any difference so far. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go to the store. Go to toys. They're sold out. I love toys. Me and Mario on sale. Sold out. Uh. Uh. Conveniently in front of the toy store. The Mario Toy Company. 
Mario versus Donkey Kong. Hoodie. And a little bit. <laughs> that was a frame. That was a frame just then. <laughs> Cool, I'm stealing. Hey, come back here. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> what are you doing? What's going on again? He's like, no, I, oh, I fucking you mean it. There's, there's Martinez <laughs> gibberish. Let's get the going. So yeah, they, they, I don't know what they did exactly with like the actual like graphics. Like they went with like a pre-rendered kind of look for it. Mario gives me like you know how they uh, did the art for like visitors in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe he gives me. Oh my god, kind of. I think it's the shine off of him. Like I remember this controlling pretty well, but like you can see like there's no question that the other one looks better. Mm. But it like it it feels so it felt so weird to play compared to the Donkey Kong 4 because that was like super snappy and like super sprite based or like super like pixel art rather. And I think there's another thing that this the uh, this version had that the current remake doesn't, which I find a little weird. Well, at least it hasn't shown up yet. It does look like he's walking through stuff and picking it up from the side though. Oh, it did it actually? Well, then maybe they actually did put it in here. Or at least, I don't know what it counts as the side versus being in front of it. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> I was right. These aren't aren't in this version for some reason. Every time you get the three presents, they're supposed to give you a bonus minigame. For extra lives. And instead they do like the randomly you get a mushroom stage to do instead. And also this game has score. I swear that, like, is there, like, some, like, target time mode that gets unlocked? There's target score mode? I vaguely remember something like that, but that might just be because I was playing on challenge.com so long back then, or Cyberscore, whatever it was called. Yeah, Cyberscore, that I was doing, like, trying to get as many records for the game as I could. But yeah, I just, like, the cleaner look works. I like the fact that the cutscenes are done up. But if you're asking me would I rather play Mario vs. Donkey Kong or Donkey Kong 94, I'm probably going to say Donkey Kong 94. Because the like it feels snappier, and unless this version adds a lot of content, which I think it adds at least two worlds, it might be the bigger game. I don't remember. No, I had... So my the story of me getting Donkey Kong 94 <clears throat> was that uh, I would often you know, be a rebel and bring my my game boy to school <laughs> and i'd play i'd be playing pokemon blue on you know on, on break and that and in the end i beat it and well i'd kind of i was done with it after that and I, I didn't know what else like it was just kind of sitting there and i don't know why some kid who couldn't get pokemon blue came up to me and offered a trade like hey if you you know donkey kong 94 for uh, Pokemon Blue. And because at, at the time, I didn't actually know. And I was just like, well, I'm not going to use this anymore. So, yeah, sure. Okay. Thinking it's just going to be like the NES one that I've played before. Oh, boy, was I surprised. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, my God. It's like, oh, it's a puzzle game. What the hell? Yeah. It lasted forever. And oh, my God, it was so good. Now, I'd like to see, if this does successfully, I'd like to see a 94 remake. I'm kind of surprised they didn't try to combine the two into one. Hmm. Or at least, like, hide 94 on here as, like, an extra. Because it's not even on, like, the online service yet, right? Uh, not that I know of. I haven't checked in a while, mind you, but let's see. Game nah, chat's two. saying no. Okay. Maybe someday. Here we go. 
Here we go. I'm imagining so many like stupid scenarios to this music that's going on right now. It just sounds like the kind of music that like some something like stupid is just happening, unfolding in front of you, and you're just hearing this trumpet or whatever it is. <laughs> oh crap, oh, not good timing. Oh, keys don't kill in this one. Oh, okay. Don't remember if that was the case in the GBA one or not. I'm going to assume it was the case. With the backflip, though. Backflip's still pretty fucking satisfying. Out of the way, knock off Yoshi. You're taking too long. There we go. Yeah, so I don't know, like, this is just what I've been playing in my spare time now. I just decided to start, other than, like, Fortnite stuff. And honestly, like, I it's nice, it's pretty relaxing. It's, like, it's not that challenging. Someone said the game has New Game Plus mode. Does it say what it adds in? I legit wonder if Nintendo considers re-releases as new releases slash entries. I don't know, for, like, business purposes, probably... How do I know when you're gonna blow? Do you light up? Good, you do. I'm gonna you. burst. I'm gonna get you. Oh boy. Did you ask? That's other than when Balatro came and swept away my time. I've been dealing out democracy. Oh, damn it. In what? Uh, that is Helldivers 2. Ah, uh, okay, so you're playing Starship Troopers. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How, like, everyone seems to have been praising that lately. Is it really that good? I enjoy it. Um, definitely has its, uh, quirks. What One of its big issues point? very early on was that they they got too popular. <laughs> um, but yeah, in general, I feel like it has a, has a few bugs here and there. For example, a friend of mine, for some reason, loaded into a, a round without having any weapons, but could call infinite airstrikes. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I don't think it's meant to do that, but it was fun for him. <laughs> Yeah, I've had a bunch of people that are like, "You should, we should play this, try it out. And like, my podcast buddies are like, yeah, no, this game's pretty good. And I'm like, that sounds cool, I agree, but I gotta be in the right mood for for a multiplayer shooter. Yeah, you do and gotta, I gotta be actually in people that who kind of like, play, yeah, and don't, don't just mindless third-person shooter, like, shooting down the hordes. <laughs> I already got Fortnite for that, sorta. True. The season of that ends soon, doesn't it, Fortnite? Uh, yeah, the current season ends March 6th, 8th, somewhere like that. The The music set already did, because now Lady Gaga is the, uh, the current 
musician du jour and not the weekend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, the actual, otherwise, the main season will be ending in about eight, nine days. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I'm, like, really setting out to do before March 6th, then, is, uh... I haven't unlocked Old Snake yet, and I want to do that before uh, it goes yeah, away. I think he goes away on the 6th or 8th, so you might want to do that. If you want him. I do! Gold, I like, so the I like my okay, Metal Gear. Oh yeah, they, they leaked the new, the new event pass, which is Avatar The Last Airbender. So some Ooh! People, some people are gonna go wild for that, like I did for the Ninja Turtles one, so. What's the play style? Yeah, so there's two gameplay types. There's classic, which is just how the original game played. And then there's um, casual mode, which I think lets you take multiple hits. You don't, like, die if you... I don't think there's one-ups at all in the game. And there's also a two-player co-op mode, where you can have a friend running around as a toad. Yo! Myers' limbs look too long for some reason. It is a. It does look a little weird. Slightly off model. Oh. Didn't mean to jump back in that. Casual also adds checkpoints to the level. Doesn't feel like the levels are long enough for that. <laughs> They do get pretty long later, from what I remember. Hmm, okay. Like, there's a feature where you can just zoom the camera around to see what's going on. And eventually that becomes very necessary, from what I remember. Hmm, okay. Uh-oh, way too early. Oh, I actually had really good air control on it just then. Well, then again, if their levels are, like, set up like this... Or are you going from, like... When you go through one of the doors with the key, is that, like, a different level, or is that just continuing it's the same level? It's the second level? half of the same level, basically. Ah, uh, okay. So that's why, it, like, notice how there's, like, two shadow gifts on my HUD there now? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Where's Danky? Danky's you gotta you gotta get all the toys first before you get to fight Danky. I'll wrap up world four and then we'll probably bounce for the night. Okay. I'm just in time. Hello. Greetings. <laughs> How are you? Tired. <laughs> Then why are you up and in the call? Video game. Good answer. Here we go. Number one answer? I think so. It's pretty up there. Alright. Somnia might be up there too. I could mm. also see that being up there. So how it goes? Goes alright, how about you? Going pretty good. Pretty good. Excellent. Excited for Wednesday. Yes. Have we officially announced that publicly yet? I forget. Oh, you can if you want, bud. All right. Wasn't sure what the plan was, but uh, yeah, I'm playing... I almost said Helldivers. Jesus Christ. We're playing <laughs> Lethal Company with uh, Pop and one of his friends here. Oh, hell yeah. A very nice gal. A very nice gal named Avery. We like a working for the company. A oh, oh, actually, that is the username was a very nice gal. I thought you were just calling yeah. her a very nice gal. I didn't realize that was actually a username. I hadn't looked at the yeah. pictures you guys posted yet. 
and her name is Avery. <laughs> oh shit, that's really fucking clever. Shit. A oh, very Avery. <laughs> that's really fucking clever. There we go. So we'll yeah, that'll be Wednesday. That'll be Wednesday around uh, this is 9 p.m. Central, so 8 o'clock, my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah About your old start time. All right. So it'll be the three of us. Uh, we didn't actually have a fourth. Yeah. Or, did, or did we get one and I wasn't aware? No, nope, well, it's just going to be the three of us. Oogie. Okay. be a good time. And then I'll have, you know, the multi-link and all that stuff set up for it. Is this modded or not modded? Uh... <laughs> that's a surprise. Nah! <laughs> so it's gonna be modded. To find out. <laughs> <laughs> I would maniacal, but this is going to be the first time that she interacts with this community, and I don't want to overwhelm her. Oh, that's fair. This community overwhelm people? Never. I'm overwhelmed <laughs> right now! Yeah, so that is the it's a nice laid back schedule this week because there's that on Wednesday and then just cookie on Saturday. Next week's got like five fucking streams going. So yeah, I don't envy you. Next week gonna be busy. Have you played Bellatro yet? No, everyone keeps <laughs> telling me to play it. <laughs> Even Mega G Wolf. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oopsie daisy, sorry. Game <laughs> no, fucking sucks. Don't even worry about it. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 it's yeah, awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, dude. You got you got time. I mean I got a copy of the game. Dan gifted me a copy of the game. Because he was just like, Yeah, you got this is my current obsession. You should probably play it. <laughs> yeah, but him and card games are just Expected. Card game guy. You know. What is wrong with me? It's like four in the morning or something. Three. See, even I'm getting the time right. I haven't been on in a while. <laughs> you have not. You been all right, man? Life yeah. has been busy. It's getting better. I'll tell you that. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, please, I'm shy. No, don't do it. Don't blow up over here. Let me get my birthday gift. <laughs> so knows on the hut there's just the one gift here. So we have to do all this nonsense to get up there. Uh, I think I need the blue switch. So this is just a remake of the... The GBA one. Game Boy? Yeah. How is it? Game. Uh, I mean, it, it's the... Did you like the Game Boy Advance one? Because this is the Game Boy Advance one, but like... Nicer looking. I never really liked these games, to be honest. With you. If you didn't like the games, you're not gonna not gonna change your mind. I get some people were bummed out because they wanted like Donkey Kong Country, because that's what they associate Donkey Kong with. But like, I'm happy to have one of these because I love these. Yeah. But I also really do want a new DKC game, so I'm hoping we get that soon too. That'd be cool. Right, there's in the stage. We will get me the springboard to at least get one of them. Right, no, it's not enough, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, I miss being around. I haven't... I don't, I don't know what it is, but I just haven't been on. Nice. I tried, like, last week, and I was... You fell asleep, I think, is what happened. Wasn't fucking feeling it. You know? <laughs> fucking sleepy time. 
to... Okay, fine. I'll take my damn springboard and go fuck myself, apparently, because I didn't mean to hit it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of clamoring for, like, a remaster of DK64. Yeah, I can see people wanting that. I do want that. It could definitely benefit from that. Yeah. Some people pointed out that it was weird that DK64 was not on... Not one of the games they added to NSO. Or Diddy Kong Racing, for that matter. Yeah, you'd think that'd be right up there with the rare stuff. I The only thing I can think of is, like, character issues with, like, Conker and Banjo in Diddy Kong Racing. But, like, I figured that would get worked out pretty f easily. Isn't that because Rare? They just released like six games with Rare Here we go. on NSO. Fucking Killer Instinct, baby! I knew you'd be excited about <laughs> that. Oh, dang it. Five? Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me, Mr. Key, get back here. I was thinking because Banjo. So it would have been six, right? Man has been for a while, though. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Is the game's Mario Charles or new guy? Can't tell, honestly. And I have obviously haven't unlocked the credits yet, so. Blast Core. I'm so glad they had a Blast Core. Now people can understand how bullshit backlash is. <laughs> Let's go! Killer Instinct hasn't been on a Nintendo console since 96. Dang. Almost 30 years. Isn't that fucking wild? <laughs> that is fucking great. Oh shit. I am rapidly aging by the moment. I'm crumbling to dust. That's what I meant. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Start, I don't feel so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on up, boys. Oh, there's no way to do that. Ah, shit. Alright, well, you guys stay up there. <laughs> Fun fact, since the arcade version of uh, Killer Instinct... Hold on. Fun fact, since the arcade version of Delisted Killer Instinct on SNES Online is... The only currently legal way to play the game. Gotcha. I see. Oh, is the arcade version was delisted on yeah. Xbox? Yep. Yeah, they got, huh. got rid of it because, um, orchid titties. Are you kidding me? Yeah, to keep to keep the collection of rated T. They had to get rid of uh, the arcade port. God damn titties. Always the titties' fault. Oh, put me down, put me down. Hoorah! <laughs> <laughs> He's very mad if he's changing this fast. Mad ape! Mad ape! I'm taking my toys and I'm going home. You're not even your toys! Bring it back! Wonder <laughs> keepers! Oh, yeah. 
Mary Miniland cleared. Hooray. Now to World 5. Spooky house. Ooh. Oh, stop. Come back. Hi, buddy. What's up? I know I'll end the stream here now, bud. All right. I'm getting the the cat wine. I think it's time for me to to end the evening. Thanks for Father. Having me. Yeah, pretty much. Like, <laughs> he just, comes, he just comes up to me and goes like Father, if you do not go to bed soon, you shan't be waking up. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's like digging through cords and controllers and wires now. He's mad. All right. Um. <laughs> Mad the Sane says, just got a new MacBook with an M3 SoC and all the upgrades: RAM slash SSD, up to one quarter terabytes of the old M1 laptop, and red rediscovered City Skylines. Just wish it was a, a native ARM program. It eats the battery like nothing else. Well, that's a bummer, but hey, at least you got a good setup now. Enjoy, Matt. Mr. Moody for 66. Uh, Ob Mouse with the new sub. Codename Vixen 30 for 38. Yoshi Man 222 for 66. Gamer Moody for 96. Shenny Nerd for 73. And Dullahan of Light gifted a sub to popsky.bandcamp.com. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of, I assume, the shuffler, and I assume correctly. How about I give you a little egg? Art Block's got three pieces in it. Let's check them out, and then let's get the hell out of Dodge. Schedule for the week is uh, 8 o'clock Mountain Time on Wednesday. We're going to be doing some lethal... I almost said lethal league. Lethal company <laughs> with Popsky and a very nice gal. Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, Saturday's fortune cookie, and then Monday next week, I guess we start a new game for game clearing. I don't know what it's gonna be. I almost made it Mario vs. Donkey Kong, but I think I want to play that one on my own time, so... We hmm. shall see. I shot it at myself. I had it- I was gonna laugh if, if you had done it, and sure enough. <laughs> hey, check Pro out Pro me. <laughs> it's me! That's I'm me, doing. check me! <laughs> Hi, buddy. Almost done, Mister. Come on, don't worry. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Must How be. could this happen to me? <laughs> we let John talk in his fucking girl voice. <laughs> From Skyler, I had enough of a raging gay crisis over D, and now this. None of y'all are good girls and boys. Y'all full of sin and no amount of Jesus soup, holy water, can save anyone. I mean, I've never even, I've never ever seen boobs before. I'm very innocent on this whole topic. Skylar. <laughs> <laughs> Update, you bitch. <laughs> no, heck, you don't. Go back to the game, you coward. You get back here so I can fight you. <laughs> <laughs> I heard D and I almost just shouted out, Laura. <laughs> Laura. Laura. I thought you were gonna do D's nuts instead, but Nah. Not that predictable. Come on now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Skylar, and sorry not sorry, sweetie. Uh next up, speaking of mom from Mika. Uh, fine. I guess you are my good child. Come here. The little pog champ meme was mentioned, so I wanna do a Jami version. Did I do good? Yes, sweetie. You are my little pog champ. Thank you so much, Mika. Even though she looks very upset. I forgot how upset the actual person is saying that you're my little pog champ normally using the picture. Hi, buddy. Did you I use feel the like, box? I feel like you'd go in for the hug, but wouldn't be able to reach the arms. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Look, sometimes you get a way. little busty. They're, they're squishy-ish. Just, just compress a little. It'll be fine. Hi, buddy. Thank you, Mika. John is Bagel, your little pog champ. He would be if he would calm the fuck down, right, buddy? He's just glaring a hole through my head right now. And the last one I have here from Drops. Why did I steal the toys, you ask? Well, I wasn't going to pay the fucking scalpers, that's for sure. I'm not that much of a dumbass. Also, if Mario doesn't have better security, that's a him problem. He did just walk in and start stealing shit. That is a good point. Honestly, he's right on both those things. Also, Mario, you sham. The toy should not be 40 fucking dollars. Think of the poor people. Me. I'm poor people. 
<laughs> Hi, mister. Yes, you are very destructive right now. Oh, no. Right, I folks. shall break everything you love, father. That's what he wants to do right now. That's our block and that's the stream, folks. What's our raid message? <laughs> Hi, mister. Oh, oh, buddy, be careful. <laughs> yeah, I hate that the first thing I think of was what people were saying earlier was hashtag my anal glands. <laughs> we're not, we're not doing I know, I know, anal I know. glands one. <laughs> no! I know. <laughs> the list of people I would raid with that message is incredibly short. Like it might have one person on it. Hi, I'll buddy. go live, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I love how... Why is depression beard an option? <laughs> I'm not raiding with a raid message of my own fucking depression beard. I've uh, had a couple of those. Yeah, when people saw that I was clean shaven, they're like, oh, why? I'm like, yeah, because I was fucking depressed because my cat went missing and I had a health scare, so, you know, I was like, fucking clean shaven. Well, I guess the health scare came after, but the cat. Was, but once the cat was fine, I'm like, okay, my body's like shut down. I think I need to clean up and get myself back together a bit. That is fair. John, what even is your life at this point? Fuck if I know. <clears throat> Now you got me curious who's that one person. Laughing boy, because he started the whole fucking thing. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Who's live that I'm following? Shrum's playing Final Fantasy Seven. Dave is doing Mega Man 9. Buster only speedruns. Jumney's playing Nancy Drew. Playing Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, we haven't raided Dave in a while. I forget if his chat's still in follower only mode. Let me double check. It is not. Wow. Okay, so we can do it. Hi, mister. You got litter all over my keyboard. How'd you manage that? Nice. Thanks, buddy. He brought you a gift. Here is an offering, yeah. <laughs> offering He's come to bed. <laughs> May I interest you in some sleep litter? Oh, my God. <laughs> Alter Daris, thank you for the 31 months, and Ankva, or Ankva for 69. Nice. Uh, let's raid with... Uh... Man, I'm look. I'm scanning through this list. Half of these, I'm just like, no, we're not doing depression beard. We're not doing titties did nothing wrong. <laughs> we're not. Maybe we're all down bad. Just a <laughs> widow down bad. Mm, you are a good yeah. child. Mmm, bananas. I'm leaning. Mmm, bananas. It's up to you guys. You want to narc on yourself and tell everyone you're all down bad. Do, do you have ballot track? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Dave, Slurpee Ninja, he is a, I don't know if he's the current or former world record holder for Mega Man 9. I love these split names. <laughs> bustin, 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 good. <laughs> nice. You know bustin I just watched that. Bustin that makes movie. Oh, yeah. uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. 1 or 2? Afterlife. Oh, how was it? It's actually really good. Nice, that one was partly filmed here in Calgary, so I was curious about oh, it. Oh, cool. Alright, go give Dave some love, folks, and I will deal with this cat that's on my desk that's staring a hole through my monitor right now. Okay, I need to get pattern oh, here. Buddy. 
I'll see you guys on Wednesday for some Lethal Company. Is she there? Well, hi, everybody. Let's go. Bye bye. Mr. Accurate Gate. bagel happenings on the end slate here. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> accurate. Thankfully, he hasn't had a chance to turn off this computer in a while. It was easier for him to do when it was a laptop. And it probably helps that I at least made enough space on the desk for him to lie down so I can give him scritches, but... He tries. He tries so hard.